Hey guys, it's Mix here. Hope you're doing super, 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 super nom. Just want to shout out our producer, Alice, from our Patreon, of course. Alice, you're amazing as always. Links in the description and on screen right now if you want to check Alice's content out. This is El Paso Elsewhere. It is a Max Payne supernatural third-person shooter type thing. It's pretty decent, and I really hope you enjoy this playthrough. Make sure you leave a like and a comment on the video if you can. And if you're feeling super nom, consider checking out our Patreon where you can nominate and vote for games that we play on this channel, as well as getting involved with lots of other stuff. Thank you very much for listening, and enjoy the playthrough. I tell myself it was always going to be a one-way trip. That's what love is. It's a trip between who you were and whatever the hell you become next. So let's take it from the top. Like a jazz standard. Play it in our own time. As loud as we dare. So this is very much like uh, from Dust Till Dawn as well, the vibes I got from the demo. It'll be interesting to see how things pan out. Okay, she'll have hostages. Gotta look for the light. It's the tutorial, by the way. Free all innocents. Look for light beacons. Suck that, vampire. And she'll have monsters. There we go. Nice and easy. Dive. Focus. I can take them down faster. Oh, yeah. You can also dive with left shift. You can hold down the dive button to stay down. Try it. Oh. Ow. Pills. I'll need more. As many as it takes. Press tab to use painkillers. And we heal. Excellent. I'll pick up more supplies as I go. God, this voiceover is, uh, is interesting. Texas. Of course they'll have guns. Use the mouse wheel up and change weapons. Hi. Huh. Haven't thought about these since Sunday school. Intrusive. Move and press C to Intrusive. roll. Rolling makes you invulnerable. Run out of the angel's blast and kill it. Oh wow, it's actually like a biblical, nice. biblically accurate angel. Stakes. Press Q to stake. Drive a stake through the heart. Break what I have to. Get more stakes. You can break wooden objects and more stakes. Why can't I break? There we go. So I can stake. I forgot what the stake button is already. It doesn't say on screen. <laughs> we'll get there in the end. Doesn't say. There's no stake thing here? Well, I'm fucked. Q. Got there in the end. Stake. Take as many as we can. Q. Stake. There we go. I'll remember that now, probably, maybe, possibly. I probably won't. I finished the tutorial, guys. Aren't I great? Almost didn't make it. What? I... Nothing. I just wasn't ready to say goodnight yet. Fuck. Fuck. The pharmaceutical cocktail I put together vibrates at the back of my skull. It shifts my system into overdrive. I could take anything but a tank shot to the chest right now, but that comes with a cost. My body's going to give it out at some point. And it's going to hurt. On my trip. I picture the pills in the back with the pills and taking the pills in the back with It feels inevitable. A Nickelodeon on a loop. 
courtesy of an addict's chemistry. I'm the addict, by the way. Hi. Hi. Max is the dark away, Lord of the Vampires. Oh, great. Fifteen miles from here, in a tiny motel in El Paso, Texas, she's conducting a ritual that will end the world as we know it. Inconvenient for us, for sure. It's what she always wanted, even when she said she didn't. If I don't save the people she's taken or kill the things she's conjuring from the void as we speak, the world dies today. I threw away six months and 11 days of being sober for a chance to save the world. 98% of me is screaming in pain or exultation, glad for an excuse to fall. And the last tiny fraction, that's you. I need Hi. you to believe that I'm not going to open that trunk. That I'm going to get back into this car, on the count of three, and stop my ex before she destroys us all. I need to know that you believe, so I can't- I go. believe. I believe. It's like Tinkerbell. One. Two. Three. Well. My name is James Savage. Here's to believing. Excellent. Clerk being gone isn't a good sign. Gotta get to the elevator. If nothing above ground has been affected yet, I might actually have a shot. Uh-huh. Lovely, lovely motel rooms. Beautiful. So the demo of this was weird, but fun. And like I say, very, very big Max Payne vibes. Let's go to the elevator. I think there's 48 levels, 50 levels to this. We've got a long way to go. Oh. Oh, shit. <laughs> this is bad. Wrong floor, I'm gonna guess. Inferno. Okay, ceiling's gone. Gotta save Dracula's victims before they're sacrificed. Are these meant to be vampires? Kind of squishy for vampires. I guess they are. They're like Nosferatu type things, right? We saved an innocent's life, guys. You proud of me? I'm proud of me. me. Gotta look out for that. Yeah, it's a bitch when the floor changes around you rapidly and you have absolutely no idea what's going on. Alright. But yeah, very much, I, I, I don't know why I get fully Dust the Dawn vibes from this, but I really do. That's okay. We'll save lives. There we go. That's right, I am a hero, actually. Is he rapping? He, he, is, he is rapping. That may need to be illegal. Wow, they almost fucking killed me there. Just got absolutely fucked up. Yeah, he's like rapping. You can buy if you buy the deluxe edition of this, which I did not do. Uh, you get like a fucking album as well that comes with this, which is pretty crazy. What the fuck is this? I guess we just need to save everyone on this floor. Is the goal here, right? Oh god. There's a lot of enemies. Oh, I'm out of ammo. Did I just kill them all with one stake? Get your numbers up, boy! 
very weird game this. Pretty sure time and space aren't supposed to be doing that. This fucking music, what the fuck? Oh my god, it's just like fucking... Reality's breaking down behind me. Need to look for the light. Get the fuck back to the elevator. Okay. So we, once we finish the floor, we go back to the elevator. Got it. Give me all the steaks. Give me all the delicious steaks and follow the exit. I don't think this is it. More ammo though. Ammo definitely seems to be an issue. I am burning through it. Rapidly. God, the sound as well. It's like... Everything's like really fucking muffled. Exit, 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 exit. I am so fucked, guys. There's no way I'm surviving this. Huh. Exit, 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 exit. Did I make it? I did. I got a trophy. I don't know what it was, but I made it. Forced entry is level two. Okay. Goal, find bumpkins. Kill, yeah, save bumpkins. Kind of Leave like a fucking circus animal. Woo! Shoot bumpkins, save numpkins. That is the goal. Oh, this is gonna be a fucked up day. I like his quips. But yeah, very Max Payne. And I like Max Payne. I should do a playthrough of Max Payne at some point. I, I need ammo. That for this game so far, that is not the, the truest thing I've ever heard. Doors locked on the side. Okay. But I do think there's going to be quite a big variety of uh, a variety of environments and things like that in this too. It's not just all going to be like these uh, grim hotels and not just all these dudes, because we played a level that was like on a completely different floor. Uh, in the demo that was like a bit like Dracula's Castle type stuff I guess is the best way I can describe it. So there's definitely different things we can do. Hey, there's lots of secrets too. I guess one of the reasons it, apart from the slow motion, it makes me think of Max Payne is Max Payne has those levels that all take place in like the really seedy hotels and shit, you know what I mean? You guys know what I mean. Okay. Just got 10 bullets at the moment, but I've got a load of heals. Might as well pop one. Music is great, if a little weird. I don't know if, if... Do I just get stakes for looking through things? Or do I really need to look thoroughly for stakes? I'm just destroying everything. He just does this. What is this animation, by the way? Okay, so 10 is the most pills we can hold. Got it. I have no idea where I'm going, though. I guess over here? Yeah, I haven't been down here yet. Okay. Killed them without needing to use my, my, my last stake. No, I did. Give me a stake. Mm -mm -mm. Give me a stake. Let me get as many stakes as possible. Hi. Innocent rescue, but where's my delicious steaks? 
Well, I killed three with one there, which was very lucky because otherwise I probably would have been dead. Breakproof windows. Where do you come from? Great. So they're purposefully sabotaging my dives now, the fucking monsters. That's unacceptable. Room's deconstructed. San Francisco is about two grand a month. The stakes are coming in more useful than anything else, because to be fair, once you're in once they're in close range on you, you're kind of fucked. Do we get any toilet stakes? Ooh, should I come back later? I wasted a stake there, but I got excited, okay. Ten bullets. Whew. I can't get in to get the last bullets, god damn it. I cannot get out. Oh, that's annoying. Can I punch him? Yes, I can. That was a little tense. That was a little intense. Two shots left. No stakes. Five shots. Bad. Bad. Very bad. Can I kill him with this? Can I kill this guy by punching? Doesn't look like it, does it? There is absolutely zero chance of my survival here, I would say. How many did I get with that? Like five? Holy shit, I did. Okay, we might be alright. More bullets there as well. More bullets in the side rooms too. Get fucked. I fucking did it! Alright, where the fuck is the hostage? Over there. I hear them, but I don't see them. Aha! I saved you! Be happy about it. There's another one over here. I guess the red doors indicate where they're hiding. Hiding. Hiding's the wrong word. Alright, so alright, we saved your ass. Alright. Time to follow the exit doors and GTFO. One stake at the moment. I feel like killing them at the moment is probably worth it. Only got three shots left. Fuck. There's the elevator, just go. Just fucking go. Yeah, level three! Only seven million more of these to go. I have seen the impossible before. My specialty was folklore. I was a researcher. That's how me and Dracula I met. I've tackled golems and will of the wisps. A leprechaun took a chunk out of my leg once. This isn't that. <laughs> Excuse me? <laughs> Those vampires had wrappings. Like a mummy. There's a reason pharaohs would have their servants killed to join them in death. It was a circle. With the right incantations, the pharaoh or noble was supposed to become undead royalty. And their servants, the personification of hunger. Drinking, but never satisfied. They'd gather and vomit gallons of blood a day so that their masters could bathe in the spoils. 
two types of vampires originating in the cradle of civilization. The feeding and the fed. That pattern was supposed to have died out a thousand years ago. Vampires changed, became more sophisticated. Like her. I don't know how to describe a smell a thousand years old being fresh. But Dakole, what she's doing, it's torn a hole through the inner tube of reality. I'm here just in time to watch the air drain out. Let's fucking go. Punchline. I do like these little cutscenes in between as well. Sure, more's the merrier. I disagree with that statement, but you know. <laughs> it's very fun to jump through stuff. Very fun. What is this? The steak. We got two steaks from that, actually. Holy shit. Alright. Find the people we need to save. GTA. GTFO. The fact that these creatures are ravenous and acting on that hunger probably means that Ugly isn't controlling them directly. Okay. So is she hot? I'd imagine she's pretty hot. She's the ringmaster, but I'll bet you 20 bucks that this circus is running itself. I wonder if she knows. Maybe she's not a bad person after all that's trying she's to win the world. Oh, we got a shotgun. Hell yeah. Very satisfying this already. It's a fun shotgun. The best kind of shotgun, to be fair. The shotgun reverberates in my chest, shakes oh, me. Oh yeah. The shotgun is my butt the shotgun, yeah. I feel dangerous. Oh yeah. Dangerous. That's my middle name. Whatever my name was, something savage. Alex Dangerous Jones. That's his name. Alright, getting a lot more ammo here than in previous sections, anyway. Thing is, once when you have a control of the situation, your health doesn't go down that badly, but it's very easy for the situation to uh, deteriorate massively and just get absolutely fisted. Oh, my stakes are full, I better use some. But this gun is kind of more fun than the stakes at the moment. Yeah, I hear ya. Stop crying. Save 10 whole hostages? I wonder if the hostages died, you failed the mission? I mean, I'm, we're probably gonna find out at some point considering I intend to play through the whole game, so. One out here. How do I get to her? Or him? Jesus Christ, that slow motion stuff is so badass. It's alright. You're on the edge of the void. It's calling you. <laughs> get fucked. So far, there isn't much of a need to use the slow motion in this. Like, not like in Trapang, where it was like a major requirement. Get fucked. Alright, another one over here. Oh, I can't be open from this side? The exit was a lie, did you see that? It's trying to trick us. Hanging on the edge of the world, huh? You are. It's the last one, I think? Yep. Oh, 
Damn right, nice. Oh yeah, we're nearly out already. We are out already. Onward and downward. For once, I'm gonna kill them all. All right, level four. Private light. Life. Oh, glowing door. Let's hope the void made it easy with the glowing key too. Okay, so we need a key for the glowing door. Got it. Inconvenient. Like I say, it doesn't all take place in environments like this, but I don't know how many, like, is it, I wonder if it's every 10 floors? Or every 5 floors? Shit mixes up? I don't know. Fuck off. Hmm. Not fan of the fog aesthetics. Makes it harder to see shit. The squish is the hard side of the tight pocket barely registers when the pills are the adrenaline. Hang on, I just... Like a hand. I picked up a, key, a heart? The heart... The, like the key is the heart. The heart is the key. Excellent. Get the shotgun shells. Very useful. As much fucking ammo as possible, really. Is there anyone around here? Doesn't look like it. Open sesame. Do we need another Since one, though? It's still in my hands. Seems like I can open as many green doors as I have to. Oh, okay, so it just opens green doors. Got it. It's like a key in Doom. My life is a series of elevators. Problem is... They're always going down. Wow. What floor would you like to go to, sir? Penthouse. Speaking of, you have a way to leave this elevator when we get up there? Well, no, sir. <laughs> I have to stay at my post. All right, then. Here's a tip. Wowzers! Fifty whole dollars? Don't get too excited, kid. The voice crack was great there. What happens next? Wow! There's a good chance you won't be able to spend it. Means you're gonna die, kid. Oh no! You sealed the deal. And once you seal it once, you can't rip up the packaging. Not without violating the return policy. It's one of those stupid little things you gotta use the scissors and it doesn't quite seal back up again and it needs tape. It isn't. I look forward to finding more of those because that was very funny. Did you just fucking dodge me, bitch? What a fucking arsehole. It's locked. Okay, we need a purple heart. And a yellow heart. Another heart. I'm not seeing any hostages in this one. I thought that was a door. It was just a painting. Easy mistake to make, okay. In this low poly world, I wonder if there's actually any even ho any hostages on this floor. It doesn't look like it. Couldn't hold more if I tried. Oh wow, we're full on ammo for the first time ever, and stakes. Full on everything. Kicking some ass. I feel like I should have had a speech prepared. Was badass. Sometimes you just gotta die for the sake of diving, huh? Fuck off. Nice, well, just safe. Just have to make my way through it. Yeah, see, oh, that's nice and easy. Let's say fuck off. Easy. GG, easy. Your turn. Truth or death? Uh, truth. Why did you stay after I told you? 
You feel inevitable. Of course we'd meet, of course we'd fall in love, of course you'd be a vampire and tell me. And of course, I would stay. Who am I to tell the universe that it's wrong? Oh. Wait, did, did I say something wrong? No, it's just... It's an interesting turn of phrase. I'm going to think over that. I feel like I messed up. You didn't. Ask me. Okay. Truth or dare? Dare. Come on. I can pick it if I want. All right, I dare you to tell me the truth about... No, it's a no, no, no. It's a legitimate loophole. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> cheating. You know... Okay, fine. Go ahead with your little truth dare. Why did you come back? To Transylvania and the castle. This isn't where you grew up. You had lost everything. What does this place have for you? Well, it's mine. Maybe the only thing I have left. Sorry. If I'm going to get to the bottom, which is presumably where this is all coming from, I need to remember some things. Once upon a time, Dracula's name was Janet Drake. I like this so far. The story's good. And it's like only these little interspersed bits of gameplay. I think this was the first level I got really stuck on. This was one of the levels in the demo, I'm pretty sure. And I really struggled with it. But only because I got lost. Hopefully that doesn't happen this time. Just lots and lots of toilets here, I think. Despite the blood dripping from its jaws, I don't think that thing is going to wait around for long. Oh, it's a new enemy. I forgot about this. I don't know what's getting worshipped in here. I appreciate the offering he's left behind. It is a toilet demon. Everyone needs a toilet demon, though, to be fair. Okay, so new enemies on this floor. And it's not here. We don't talk about what just happened, okay? We just move on. All right, we're moving on. I know you're all happy with moving on, and there's nothing to discuss, right? I think it's dead. Gotcha. There's quite a few of them, I think. Yep. So you can headshot them, because that took both of those out really easily. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. Woo! Music still hasn't stopped. That means there's more, probably. I'm not entirely sure where, but probably more. Can't carry more. Shut up. Alright, hostage. I try I'll try not to kill you this time. I like the way that I shot the hostage, by the way. It did unlock the door.
These things uh, do a lot more damage than the uh, the other things. Nice barricade. It's alright. I'm there for you guys. I don't- I definitely have never executed a hostage by accident, alright? It's never happened. I wonder if there's an achievement for killing every hostage on a single floor. I'm not gonna go for it. But, you know, theoretically, there might be, right? There's one over here. Gotcha. Alright, now we need to get the fuck out of here. Easier said than done. We're just running here. Might be a really bad call on my, my part, but we're just running for now. The elevator, right? Yeah! Significantly less lost than I was last time. Go! Fuck! <laughs> was close. That was a bit clutch. I think I saw a werewolf in that fucking bathroom. Seat of power. I wonder if the game has boss fights, other than like a final boss. Where to get an obsession? Wow, that was a bit brutal. What did he mean by Void's got an obsession? Just like the floating furniture and shit. It's making a statement, maybe. I don't know. I don't. I don't know. I hear a hostage though. I like the music here. I like it better than the raps. The weird rap. But I'm sure we have more weird raps coming. Get fucked. Alright, so we need doors. Gotta find the hearts to unlock them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know I know how the system works. The biggest problem is going to be finding the hostages. Oh, a Tommy gun? God, is this actually from the 20s? Hell yeah. I haven't had a of the of the museum. Oh, it doesn't feel very weighty. Like, the shotgun feels nice and, like, like it has a bit of body to it, but this feels like kind of like pea shooter. I mean, it kills them, which is good, but it doesn't feel as nice as it could, if that makes sense. I do like the glass everywhere, so it's just like daring you to jump through. Like, go on. Give it a little, give it a little jump. It's alright, everything's fine. Go away. Yeah, I can't even see where the hostages might be here because the walls are so high. Oh, there's the heart we need. Feel kind of bad for breaking that tower. Eh, don't feel bad about it. They're all dickheads anyway. Let's grab some ammo and then we'll uh, head back. I heard a hostage earlier, so this is definitely a level that has hostages. Oh, I can't go that way? Then how do I leave? Aha. The green door, obviously.
Get fucked. Oh god, there's a lot of them. Fuck off. I knew I knew it was gonna do that. Nice ammo. Oh, you really can interrupt your own reloading animations really easy in this. Oh hi! Only one guy. Okay, I should get back to that fucking path. That was the only guy? Okay. Just keep going. Follow the exit signs. They're completely trustworthy. Mind you, if I was this fucking Dracula chick, right, I'd just be like, well, yeah, I'm going to move the fucking exit signs. I'm killing half us just before I get a chance to save them. More better content. Either way, it's one last chance to disrupt Dracula's ritual. Can you shut up, please? This isn't the time to have a conversation about your ex. That was a lot of bumpkins. That's the elevator. Let's fucking go. Aperture? Aperture science? Oh my god, is this a portal tie-in? It's the only rational conclusion I can reach. Oh shit. That wasn't that big a deal. I guess it could become a big deal. Oh, he's rapping again. I do like the little the little comments are great. Fucking bathroom again. Not sure how I feel about the raps though. They're uh, they're something. They're, they're cringe as fuck, but that was a really big door for very little coming out of it. Got ammo. I'm on board. Oh, we're back here already. Oh shit. Was that one just bigger than the others, or was it? Pisp That's really weird. Oh, what the fuck is this shit? If it didn't mean the world was ending. Yeah, don't you hate when the world ends, but everything's like really, really cool to look at? I do. Oh! Oh, thanks for that. Didn't realize this was uh, parkour. Pretty. If it didn't mean the world was ending. That guy got absolutely fucked then. I'm not too comfortable with the idea of platforming in this. Like, it seems like a bad idea to me. I've got to hope there's not difficult platforming later. I do like the aesthetics though. Everything fucking changing up is really fucking cool. Oh, it's breaking linear space. I used to have shit before, but this... This is a fun thing of power. Just jump, just jump, just jump. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Just keep going and ignore the rap. Um. What the fuck are these? I don't like those. Puppets. Killer puppets. Oh, this guy's spawning them. You're the fucking guy. Shit. He hides and summons them. Whoops. Oopsie doopsie. I did again. 
But I finished the level, so that's all that matters, really, right? 100%. Yeah, that was 100% clear. I didn't just mow down the innocent survivor and there's just end the level. There's hell. There's us. And then, in between it all, there's this thin, thin bubble filled with things that hate you. The forces beyond. The forces beyond. That's the door that Dark Lay is opening right now. To get back the power she's owed. We can't travel through the bubble. It'd be even more suicidal than what we're already doing. So I'm stuck with the elevator. Going where the void lets me. Floor by floor. It's only going to get worse from here. So why do I feel so fucking good? Because the gameplay is really fun, is the actual answer to that question. I mean, you might be get back with her anyway, right? More diving. If I wasn't gonna die after all this, I might be worried about my knees. Did we get a level name for this one? I think we did. Oh, we did. Hey! So we got a new environment. That's pretty cool. Alright. I will say there's tons of heals and ammo everywhere in this game, which is nice. It reminds me a bit of Painkiller too. I don't know if that's because we're playing a dude in a jacket. <laughs> that's like the extent of my like like how I think about Painkiller, but I don't know. It feels like that might be the case. All right, I need the blue key. I'm guessing these are, there's hostages to shoot. I mean rescue here as well, right? All right, where the fuck am I going? I don't think this is where I came in. Holy shit, the void's really smashing stuff together. Yeah, There's a graveyard and a hotel. Or just a really shit hotel, huh? <laughs> God, I'm funny. Bathroom like a Berlin nightclub. Like the song too. I've been to some nice nightclubs in Berlin in my day. A long fucking time ago, but still. Okay, we got a uh, blue heart. Oh, I like the way the levels change shape behind you to make, like, so you get back to where you were going. Like, level design... I will say, like, I, I got lost a lot when I played the demo of this, but so far I haven't here. And it feels really good. Like, it feels like they really, like, upped their, uh, their level design game. I mean, it could just be me being better at navigating than the last time as well as the other option here. Can you fuck off, please? There's a lot of enemies here, holy shit. How many more? We done? Good. That was a waste of a stake, but I kind of wanted to hit him around the back of the head because I thought it was funny. Hostages in here. Do not shoot them. Lots of hostages here. Doesn't seem like the void to put all of its eggs in one basket. I'll go, I'll go. I mean, what really were you... I mean, where are they gonna go, by the way? Do they just get teleported out? Another one through here. Save me. Yeah, I'm coming, I'm coming. There you go. Now I just need to get out of here. I saw the the elevator was in the middle area. I'm out. Oh god, I'm out of stakes.
I have no ammo left for anything. Shit. Alright, um... Here's the exit. Let's just make a beeline for the exit. I mean, what could go wrong, huh? Go. I hate the way they just slam into you while you're leaving. It's so rude. I think I get it. I'm looking at the end of the world with a lightness in my chest. I guess I can finally know. Do you know how hard it is? Living good. Dying good is a moment. You do something, you bleed your goodness onto the universal ledger. You're a good person. You know you're a good person. Anyone can die good. I'm doing it. Look that face. A face only a mother could Living love. Forever. It's like a potato. That's how it feels. Yes to the right things, no to the wrong things. Day after day, choices reinforced bit by painstaking bit. It's like chiseling your soul into a new shape. It's fucking slow. But here we are. And a hole in the fabric of everything that is. A hole I get to close. I have to wake up tomorrow and wonder if I'm going to do the right thing again. James Savage, drug addict, gets to die good. What a mercy. <laughs> Pretzel's going crazy in the background. <laughs> Alright, new level, let's go. Time to get this show on the road. Wow, I have very little ammo. Twist tie. It's the same graveyard, but more cohesive. Cohesive is a strong word, I'm gonna be honest with you. That does not apply to this graveyard right now. It's like the opposite of this graveyard right now, I'm gonna be honest with you. But that's okay. That's okay. That's okay. Oh wow, I'm out of bullets already. Ooh, in the air! Did that guy's body just shield him? This could be a problem. Health is not looking too great at the moment. There's a small town in Romania where the mausoleum's only open from the outside. Guess they knew something that we don't. I feel like that's like... I, I would go with that. Though that said, what if someone gets accidentally stuck in a mausoleum? What a way to go, huh? Mind you, what were you doing in the mausoleum in the first place? Hmm? 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 It's the age-old question. What were you doing in the mausoleum in the first place? That's not really an age-old question, but still. We are saving all the hostages. Definitely not shooting any. This is a new day for me, so basically I'm just drawing a line over under any accidental executions that may have taken place previously. And we're just going to focus on the fact that hopefully everything's going to be fucking fine, alright? Though, those things, I know they're meant to be werewolves. I'm gonna enjoy taking that apart. I know they're meant to be werewolves, right? But they look a bit like the hyenas from um, Lion King. I mean, I know the hyenas in Lion King are just hyenas, so they look like hyenas. But still, um, <laughs> you know what I mean. 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 It's my favorite phrase at this point. As long as you hit the enemies, which sometimes I have an issue doing, everything's fine. Okay, not so good, not so good. Okay, we're alive. Hopefully, I'm, I'm hoping that the, um, I say the story. Yeah, I, like the bleeding cross. I want more quips, more funny sto story moments, and a slightly bigger variety of stuff than we've had so far. But, I, I don't mind the graveyard aesthetic. It's pretty good. I'm guessing there was another level in the demo that was the graveyard. Bleeding cross or crucifix usually means an 
act of blasphemy or imitation. The one means I'm in dangerous territory. Eh, you'll be fine. I mean, weren't you dating a vampire anyway? Like, you probably can't. You can't be that religious. I'm not even sure if I'm going the right way now because I'm backtracking. Oh, this is opening up. Excellent. Probably am going the right way. That means. It's kind of weird. It's like the. Like, I think this is meant to be, like, drawing in different parts of reality into it and whatever. It is kind of cool. And it gives a good excuse for, like, the abstract level design. Fuck. Ow. Stop it. Bad Papilla. Bad. Bad donkey. There's a lot of enemies here. What happened to that pillar? Right, I'm out of stakes. I'm out of bullets. Okay, right, there is a, a slight dilemma that has raised itself here. A mild one. God, he bigs himself up, doesn't he? Yeah, I'm fucking great. Mind you. It's a fair thing to do, I guess, given the circumstances. <laughs> we just ignore that happened. We're just gonna go to the exit, alright. I don't know. I, 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 my trigger finger is itchy, okay? It's like the definition of itchy. It's like really, really itchy. Like super itchy. Maybe I should probably get it looked at. You know? Oh shit, straight into a hotel area? Happy returns. I love happy returns. Okay, it's not the hotel area, it's just merging with the graveyard still. If you use the bell, nothing happens, I've noticed. You guys all die, please? I need, I need you to die, sir. Molotovs! Ooh. Okay. That was a little bit overkill, but very entertaining at the very least. I like the way, by the way. This is literally this, the, the first level that I get to play on a new fresh day, and I kill an innocent. It's just too easy to kill innocents. Sorry, you're fine. So far, there's been a good steady, like, up to, like, amount of new weapons and things like that, too, for a shooter. Like, I realize shooters aren't the most entertaining thing to watch, but I hope you guys are enjoying the quips and shit for this one. And be talking shite as well, obviously. Because I talk a lot of shite. I feel like I'm pretty good at talking shite. I mean, I guess it's literally my job to talk shite over horror games, but still. That was a good quip. Peekaboo to you too, motherfucker. These trap pieces in the cemetery like toys. Almost. Thing is, right, the way they sit down on the floor like that, like holding their heads and shit, it makes them look a bit like zombies, alright? They, they look a little bit. Can you guys see it? Please tell me you can see that. Please don't tell me I'm just like a deranged psychopath that constantly accidentally kills people. Is it bad luck to destroy flowers on a grave? Probably. I'm gonna go with maybe it's bad luck. Hmm. Where do I go though? I haven't got another heart at the moment to open this, right? No. I need the green heart. The level design reminds me so much of Doom and Painkiller. Like it's kind of crazy, actually. Imagine if you failed the mission, if more than one person died in a level or something. I'd just be so fisted. So I'm gonna start saying that. I'm gonna start saying so fisted now instead of fucked. I feel it's a much more polite way. Excuse me. The idea that this place has a sense of humor does not feel me like that. It's a pleasure. I'm amazing, I know. 
They're breaking the fucking doors open. Hit 1,000 weak spots. The enemies have weak spots. It's just, I'm just shooting. I mean, I'm happy I hit 1,000 weak spots. That means I'm obviously amazing at the game. Like, maybe the best ever, potentially. But. It's not an ideal situation. Did I miss the heart? I don't know. I need to go and check if there was a heart here. What was in here? Oh, whatever. I would definitely rate this so far, though. There's the heart. What was that animation? What the fuck did you just do to me? Dry humped to death by a werewolf. What a way to go. I like the fact that Molotovs have like an otherworldly glow to them. Hang on, were you wearing a waistcoat? Are they all wearing waistcoats? That's the first time I've noticed the waistcoat. I will say, these are fucking useful. It's an innocent. By a toilet, obviously. Alright, let's get the fuck out of here. That was a bit of overkill, but very entertaining at the same time, so it's worth it, you know. All right, next level. There's always a chance we hit the bottom and the monster doesn't want to fight. Fuck if I know what I'll do if that happens, but the possibility is there. That's what I tell myself in the bad times. Dark away isn't unreasonable. She knows what she's doing is wrong, so that makes it better. Does it? She doesn't want to fight. She doesn't want to stop. I don't know what comes next. You seduce her. You seduce her, Mr. Savage. You drop some sexy lines, okay? Like cocaine or something. That was a good joke, come on. No? Okay. I'm just gonna move on. I think this is the one that was in the demo. Yeah, these, are, these enemies were in the demo. So yeah, I think this is the level that was in the demo. Oh, they teleport. Fuck. So we have enemies with ranged attacks that teleport now, by the way, which is going to make things uh, a lot a lot less nom. Especially as I can't seem to shoot them with the shotgun. Jesus. Pistol definitely for her. Shotgun bad. There is good that there's so many pills everywhere. Headstones only give me so much cover. I'm gonna dodge. Don't say you're gonna dodge out loud. They'll know you're gonna dodge. And I didn't dodge. I just stood there and tanked it like a pro. <laughs> Nearly shot the guy behind them then, but I didn't. So it's all okay. There's no proof otherwise. Are they wearing like increasingly sexy outfits? The werewolves. Oh, are you gonna rap? The beat's getting sick. The beat's getting sick and thick. Your shots can't really follow me. I can roll right under them. God, I wasted the fucking thing. I feel Tommy Gun's probably the one to use against these uh, lovely enemies. A Tommy Gun! I, I didn't say that yet. How did I get to a game with a Tommy Gun and not make a stupid fucking 1920s gangster voice? What is happening? Fuck off. Are those meant to just be vampires, by the way? Because, like... I'm not a fan of those kind of vampires. Like, a, or mummies, are they? I don't know. I like sexy vampires. I'm sure you guys understand. Not like Twilight vampires. They're shit vampires. Like, like Interview with the Vampire Vampires. Does that not kill her? How come when I shoot the hostage they die, but when the enemy shoots them, it's nothing? Well, whatever. Don't thank God, thank me! I was the one that fucking saved you. God. 
so picky. Alright, where are we going now? There we go, that answers my question. I will say, the level design definitely is way better than it was. Way better. Just like, everything feels like it flows really well. I don't know if I was just an idiot when I streamed this. <laughs> just like I said before, like, it's entirely possible that I was, at least at the time, being stupider than usual. Alright, here we go. You, come here. You're mine. Ow. Oh, we finished the level? Fuck. Go, 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 go. Taking the scenic route. I mean, not really. I'm just trying to get back to the exit. Are you telling me this is the wrong way? No, it's just right here. I've been lying. Oh, this is not good. Heal. Go. Get fucked. I'm not usually taken by surprise. But I don't know what you are. My mind has a tendency to grab onto things. Turn okay. Them over and over again until they make sense. Sometimes it isn't good for me. But that's old news. I think about the veil. I think about the dress. Simple, formal, torn. I think about the blood. I think about the ball of energy called from elsewhere. And how exhausted she looks after it's been fired. Before she does it again. This is really interesting. The story starts to assemble itself in my mind. About a damned bride whose suitor drags her to hell. She can't stop loving him anyway. Is that your story? Do I see you? Or am I just projecting a little bit? Oh, these are, I like these little, these little skits, these little excerpts, they're great. Sensorium. I don't know how I can be so bad at aiming sometimes. And then competently play occasional first person shooters. Is that a chandelier? Where? There is a lot, a lot of people to rescue here. At least, at least, not as many as four, obviously, because that would be impossible, but There's around that mark. Me, but it doesn't seem to be plant-based either. Elevator's closed off for now. I thought this was like a big boss fight for a minute, but I guess it's just opened up all the side areas. Sorry, piano. I didn't mean it. I meant it. On one hand, it smells like sweat and still paint. On the other hand, those are just two at a time. Hmm. If I can't go through that door, where do I go to get through that door? Everything is locked down here. Huh. Like, what the fuck? I didn't do it. There's gotta be a way somewhere to one of these rooms. Aha. I'm busy. Go away. Almost shot the hostage, but I didn't. So that means I'm better than the average uh, player, obviously. Because most people would have shot that hostage. Let's be completely real. But I didn't, because I'm great. Go away. And you. Do I need to start heading towards the exits? Well, no, I've been here already. Maybe some other areas will open up now. Yeah, like that one. Thank you, game. You're so kind. Go away. Yeah. 
definitely another enemy around. Not entirely sure where. There. Wow, that was a great miss by me. Reload. Thank you. Oh, we just have to kill him to get through the, the, the area here, I guess it looks like. They're wearing, like, little fucking corsets. Stupid sexy werewolves. They're so fucking good. Out. Reload. Look at those sexy corsets off. Another one gonna open up? Yeah. Yeah, definitely not the hostage over here as well. Hello? I'm not quite sure what you were doing, sir, but uh it's probably best not to be in the wall, I'm gonna be honest with you. There we go, through here. I'm very busy at the moment. Save the innocent. Got the heart to get out of here. Another innocent over this way behind the green door. Is that a thing? Hi, doggy. What dog? Oh, hi! Oh my god, what a nomkin! Hi. There is no way you can convince me that those two papiers were not doing rude things. No way. Absolutely no idea where the last hostage is, though. Over here? Found ammo. How good for you? Yeah, here. Another door opened up. Excellent. Can you fucking die? Thank you. Jesus Christ. Commit to the death. It's a rat warren. Can I place you do research? Can you fuck off, please? I'm not through snakes. Ow. You bit. You fucking bitch. Hey, at least I didn't miss this one, which I was about to. There's three hostages in this fucking maze. I say maze. Maze might be a little bit of a strong word. Slightly confusing route. Let's get the fuck out of here. I think this is the right way. I hope this is the right way. Oh fuck, that's a lot of monsters. Doesn't matter. I was faster than them, quicker than them, smarter than them, the best there is. That's how you pronounce that, if you didn't know. Glad they're behind glass. Not looking forward to finding out why. In the hole. In the hole. You belong. You belong. You belong. You belong in the hole. What is this shit? Don't rap. Don't it. Don't do it. Stop it. Wait, the scene inside the arena is changing. It's connected to my movement, maybe. What does that mean? Oh wow. Oh wow. Heal, 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 heal. I didn't realize my health was so fucked. Again. What the fuck is this weird shit? In the hole. Here, crack, pull, growth, God, pack. In the hole. 
in the hall. Put it down. Don't put it down on me. Just die is what I meant to you to do. God, they do a lot of damage. It looks like every time I complete a wave, more random shit will happen. Go away. Go away. We're a rave. This is so fucking weird. Kill the puppeteer again. What the fuck are you here? Well, we got the puppeteer down. He really hates the puppeteer. Like he really hates the puppeteer. He's like, you fucking asshole, what are you doing here? The best story I've ever seen, but I paid more for less. That was a really fucking surrealistic level. Kinda cool though. I quite liked it. Very short level. In the hall. In the hall. Dark End Sepulchre. Sepulchre. I'm already here, man. Can't escape with death in my veins. Where am I gonna go? I'm glad not every level's a rescue mission, by the way, and you can actually- there's just some levels that are just, like, there. For the sake of there being a level. Can you fuck off, all of you? Based on the beacon, I killed enough monsters to move forward. How polite. Excellent. The killing enough monsters to move forward shit is very, very painkiller. In the hall. In the hall. Am I even meant to be walking on this? It feels like I'm, like, flying. Well, whatever. God, that was so fucking weird. What the fuck was that? Did you see that, guys? God, you fucking assholes. Just fucking die. Oh, God. You just kill enough monsters to move forward here, it looks like. There's like a really basic sort of fucking thing. Hi. Oh, my God. Reloading is the biggest fucking problem in this fucking game. I'm always- I'm dead for the first time! Actually, maybe not the first time? I feel like I've seen the screen before. But yeah, ammo fucked me there. Like, just- that. the reloading takes so fucking long on these guns, it's actually crazy. Gotta keep my health topped up too, apparently, now. Got to be much more careful as I go keep going. I wonder if there'll be a boss fight at the end. There'll just be random shite. For you, slow motion more than I am. It just doesn't feel at all necessary in this. Did I do good? I'm paranoid about my health now. I've got to keep it topped up forever. A million times. Okay, this is a new area that I got locked into again. Checkpoint was very good, by the way. Very, uh, very reasonable. Heal. 
Why isn't the gun reloaded? Reload, you fucker! Why is there just- Why did you put one bullet in and then leave it? Reload the gun! Dickhead? Oh my god, this is crazy. Thank fuck, she's dead. But there's another one. Of course there is. Reload the gatchel gun. Reload the gun. Heal. Jesus. You fucks are persistent as fuck. I mean, I guess that makes sense. Killed enough to move on. Oh no. Oh, some familiar fucking graves the void is desecrating. Did we finish a level? Oh wow, two weird little levels in a row there. What? Uh, I was a ghoul. And I'd still like you. What? Uh, I was a beetle. I'd still like you. What if? I was a vampire. And I would still really, really, really like you. What if I was a vampire? <laughs> uh, can you turn into a bat? No. But some of my kind can. I don't remember feeling blood last time you bit me. Or getting turned. Well, that's not how this works. What are you saying, Janna? Look, look into my eyes, James. She took my head into her hands and she looked into my eyes and she stared. And I remember. It was like I could see the imprint on her shoulders of the weight, the desperation, and that very moment to be believed. For me to know she was telling the truth. I held her for a half hour in this graveyard as she cried. <laughs> Awkward. I hadn't noticed that all of her dates had been at night. And now I'm here again. What the fuck? It's fine. And now we're in the motel again. As soon as I make a connection. Are you listening, Void? Fun house. Something you don't want me to know. I love a fun house. Yeah, you better fucking better. I bet there's a trophy or achievement or whatever for rescuing every hostage. Obviously, that is exactly what I'm gonna get because I haven't fucked up at all at any part in killing the hostages. So everything's fine in that regard, you know. I went on a steak spree there. To rescue the hostage. Worth. Worth! How many places you get to die surrounded by art? Exactly. This is basically a really positive thing. That they're all getting fucked by the werewolves and shit. This is, probably shouldn't phrase it that way, but you know what I mean. Hmm. If I can't go that way... How do I get over there? So we're in the big circle? Mm, go down here. Got a stick. Mmm, delicious. So the cars transform into robots. Yep. And they're in a war. Mm -hmm. So sometimes they get damaged or even destroyed. What are you getting at? Well, I... They have to make more yeah. at some point. Right? Yeah. I'm not sure though what exactly. So why do the cars have sex? Well, this is why I didn't want to ask. I wanted to provide context. <laughs> I, I I feel like I'm losing my mind. I am not thick. I know it's a children's 
show. I, I was just wondering if they... That's you know, pretty they, cheap. They, well, some kids know these things. And I don't know, do they ever miss me? It's the all spark. There's there's a station, material gets fed into it, there's a whole process to, to carry uh, the legacy of the first founder to the start. Okay, so who is more ridiculous here, me asking this very logical question, or you using your valuable time on this earth to learn about their reproductive habits? I know about way more than their reproductive habits, first of all. James? And the second, do the robots have sex? It's a new world. Please. That was really fun. I love these little... These, these are where the game excels, all those little bits of dialogue there. They're just really fun. Like, the other one with, like, the TV show and the bellboy and shit. It was really, really fucking good as well. One down. The distortion is getting worse. The Lord's putting everything through a funhouse mirror. Making me find my way through the cracks. I didn't want to shoot the innocent there. I was desperately trying to avoid doing so. Oh, wow. The only enemy we have to kill on site is the puppeteer. Like, that's just the, that's just the canon law, you know? I'm gonna sneeze. I'm dead. Just so you guys know. Where the fuck is the exit? Because I can't remember. I think I just went around the big circle. I'm pretty sure it's back this way. I don't know where it is! The other ones have, like, exit things. Does this one have exit things? There it is, it was hidden behind a piano. That's cheating. Next level. <laughs> the wood. Oh, this a new environment? Don't kind of. The road more traveled. A little bit. It's all good in the wood, let's go. I fucking hate the- I fucking hate the fucking brides. Because I always miss! Like that! Fuck you. I always miss them. Yeah, I can't shoot at you right now because you're standing where the other guy was, which is cheating. It's against the rules of whatever the rules are. It's against them, okay? I, I do love the music here. Did they just spawn out of nowhere? That's a werewolf. Oh! Wait, kill a mega enemy! I'm sure that size. Must be Arctic in origin. I load up on calories before hibernating. Maybe inside its human form. It had red eyes, that was the only difference. Oh, this shit when something's trying to kill me. That isn't a... What's mega about that? Shut up. I think, I think this is the way forward. Oh wow, there's a lot of them. Fuck. Reload, reload, reload. Again. Fuck me. Whew. Get spicy. It's getting difficult. It's definitely jumping up a bit here. Which is good. I feel it kind of needs it.
Do I have no ammo for anything? Okay, I've got 15 bullets for this now. Bitch! I can't see you. Definitely using pills a lot more. I'll take as many pills as I can at the moment. It's not the healthiest approach I know, but still. Do I really have to kill all these fuckers? This could be an issue. Heal. Get the handgun rounds. <clears throat> that went perfectly. Alright, that opened the door to maybe the last hostage question mark. Nope. I'll go, I'll go. Probably the hardest level so far though, I would say this. Like, significantly so. Got ammo. Yeah, ammo is uh, a little bit of an issue right now. What? Why didn't that count? Fuck off. And you. I think that's all of the nope, nope, there's another. God. Persistent fuckers, aren't they? I'm not entirely sure where I'm gonna be going right now, but towards where the enemies are coming from is probably a good bet. Okay, door opened. That usually means something happened. Need more of these. I don't know if I'm heading towards an enemy. Uh, yes, 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 yes. Great, of course. Alright, that worked pretty well. Heal 50 times. Hey, hang on. I was going to say, you should be dead. Exits over that way. Got ammo. There's the elevator. To leave right when the void made something beautiful. Skype. Definitely the trickiest level so far. That one. Dogley's ritual clearly has fail safes. Immune system, and it's recognizing me as a threat. I should be fired. Reality is getting bent around me, flipped, distorted beyond repair. All to keep me from reaching the bottom. The void refuses to give me a straight line down. Somewhere along the way, I started bleeding. No shit. I don't know why the void hasn't killed me outright. Maybe it doesn't want to. Maybe it can't. Either way, I'm going to make that a problem. What are you going to make a problem? The fact you're bleeding? Oh, probably new enemies here. Almost shot the hostage because he looked like a little <laughs> werewolf. Yep, new enemies. Yeah, I'll fuck with time. Has a motherfucker looking for the brain of sucker dark thing. Oh no, he's rapping again. Ooh. 
Looks like you have to use explosives or thingies on these. Break shit and kill people. So much hunger is filled with meat. They've invaded their territory. Nice to have more enemies, though. They're, they're doing a good job of keeping everything mixed up, you know? Oh, fuck. I'm gonna say, I'm not gonna survive this. Fuck. Did I win? I won. Holy shit. I won. Just about. The damage that gets done, by the way, by those big things is nuts. I wonder if I can kill them with something else. But regardless. With three. Oh, exit already? Just gonna run, I guess. I hope this is the way back. I actually don't know. Yeah, it is. Go, 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 go. Here was it. Go, 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 go. Easy. GG, easy. I know these walls. I know this light. Spilling across weathered stone. I know this place. Hiding from God. And of course, uh, this face would not be complete without a portrait of Van Helsing. I'm sure you're familiar. Intimately. I'm sure he was all that he's charged up to be. Of course, with figures such as Van Helsing, you know, we face this challenge of being able to determine what's real and what's not. Sifting through history and lore, who they were, who they have been turned into by stories. It's an incredibly difficult undertaking. Personally, if I want to know if a creature is real, I look at the people who are hunting it. Technique, madness, and incalculable faith that they will see their quarry again. Vampires. I haven't met a vampire hunter yet who wasn't a quack or con man or a romantic. No offense to Mr. Helsing here. You aren't a believer? Oh, I believe. I think vampires are real. They walk among us to this day. Among us? It's a story that's wrong. This is Doug Lay's castle. This is where we met. Her castle. The graveyard where she told me she was a vampire. In the motel in my hometown where two years later, she's decided to hold the ritual that ends the world. The void is pulling these places from memories. Only question is, am I living through her hell? Or oh, mine. <laughs> I knew, I knew it, I knew it. It's so cliche. All right, let's go. I'm on a graveyard again. We're on the same page now, Void. Hit me with everything you've got. Shut up! Don't say that. I don't want you, I don't want, I don't want them to get hit right side down. I don't like the look of the cobweb over there. I got the Uzi. Oh, it was in the cobweb. Oh yeah. 
First time I used an Uzi, it rattled out of my fucking hands. Big gate. Looks like it's sealing away the manor. Hmm. Kind of fun to use the Uzi, but it's going to burn through ammo more than any of the other guns because it's so rapid fire, comparatively speaking. Still pretty fun, though. Oh, yeah. I think this le one of this levels, a level like this was definitely in the demo. Like a level that's very similar to this. But the levels are all quite similar, so it's hard to gauge, you know, which one's which. Huh. I should be able to go inside that manor now. It's like three different hostages at least in here. Oh, hi. I was like, where the fuck? Why is it slowing down? It might have been this level. Oh, okay, I can just shoot them. Why didn't that work before? Maybe I need to use the shotgun? I don't know. Definitely feel this level feels familiar, actually. Yeah, okay, this one was in the demo, 100%. You need to pull these two different switches over different sides to open up different bits. Oh, look, nice relaxing church music. I'm trying not to think about the sparks of all. Come on, fuck you. I keep thinking I have stakes when I have none at the moment, because I keep forgetting to break shit to get them. Get fucked. That bitch thought she had me. She didn't. Yeah, what is this? The weird darkness wobbly stuff. Now that was pretty cool. That was one of the few times I've successfully utilized slowing down time. The void really likes its memento mores, huh? I guess it does. Ah, so they weren't hostages. These were the switches that were highlight. Oh, I can make my way back through the manor now. All right, that's one side done. But now we need to go to this side. Were you flirting with the, the, the werewolf? Understandable, obviously. I don't know. Who am I to judge? Actually, it's a bit weird. But still, who am I to judge? Other than the fact that I just immediately judged. The damage these things do compared to everything else in the game is fucking insane. Fuck off. But at least they're all dead. I remember this level being a long one, but I think I got lost a lot, whereas I don't know if I will this time because I'm a professional uh, El Paso Elsewhere player. And as a result, um, I did not mean to hit that one out of the air, but I did. Oh, oh, a secret. I'll ask you one more time, Gordy. Where's the money? Me and the human gorilla in the corner had been over this. There was no money. Crystal had played all of us like a cheap fill with a missing string. That's badly. Just my luck. I had to explain why the Syndicate's golden goose had made off with the coop. I'm waiting, Gordy. Try waiting a little longer. Maybe I'll start growing moss. I guess I didn't give you enough the first time around. <laughs> You want more of this? How about that? And some of this? 
His arms were like machine guns. He never ran out of energy. It just kept repeating again and again and again. And in my ribs. Italian of punches. All perfectly a battalion of punches, wow. The sweet science made into a... A mad, mad scientist, scientist nightmare. nightmare. Ooh, I'm not even done. I'm not even close to started. There I had to go. Me and my big mouth. Gordy, you gonna... You gonna... I really like these. I definitely have missed some, unfortunately. But I really like them. Kidding me. Die, bitch. Okay. Cut him off. Definitely weak to shotguns, but the other guns don't seem to do a lot to them. Which I guess makes sense from like a, a design perspective. For the knights, that one went into the fucking wall. Okay. And they seem to have opened the way forward. Nice trick with the disappearing walls, Void. Yeah, nice try. That you can fool me. Ah, oh, no hostages this level, just an exit. I was gonna say, open the fucking elevator. Peanut gallery. All right, I need a green a green key. Well, oh, multiple elevators out of here. It looks like. Could be a boss. We haven't really had one of those so far. So maybe? The Molotovs are so fucking good. They're like the best fucking weapon. Like by miles. I knew you were going to get up this time, fuckface. Do you wonder who is laughing, if anyone? Well, that was definitely laughter. Yeah, I was gonna say it's a bit hard to disprove at this point, right? Fuck off! They're such assholes. Give me, the, give me the shotgun shells. The shotgun shells, right there. Give them to me. Thank you. Shotgun is still, without a doubt, the best weapon. Jumbled, but this doesn't look like a particularly pleasant place to live. It's probably fine. Like, if you like creepy castles, this is probably like the best place that you've ever been. Oh god, a super one. A super one of those. Another damned bride. Yeah, but... Still look out. Looks like this one had a darker ending. Ah, I like the fact that they explain the variants. It's really fucking cool. There's a reason for them being slightly different colors. Oh my god, amazing. Shut up. Really not liking this. It's been smoking a lot, that one. Whoever's doing the laughing. Still need the, uh, the purple heart, though. Good. There it is. Along with like English, certainly seen better days. Everything's fine. Anything down here? Oh, Molotov, more ammo. That was worth it, especially as it was Uzi's round. The Uzi rounds are cool. Oozing rounds is not cool, but Uzi rounds are cool. I wonder if we'll find out who's doing the laughter. What if it's the puppet guy again? This looks like a big room. Oh, no. 
Okay, she's dead. I thought there were way more enemies than this. So, you're the source of all this trouble. Oh, we got a loading? In the middle of a level? Wait, what? How did I get here? Same level? I don't know. But someone's fucking with me. No, it's just looping that. That seems pretty glitchy, unfortunately, but never mind. We can let it slide. We haven't really had any other glitches. Someone is definitely going to hell for this. Hmm. I don't really want to know what they did with that crucifix. It is covered in jam. Jammy crucifixes are probably the worst kind, I'm going to be honest with you. kind of bodied there for a minute. I was a bit overwhelmed by it. The, the flying ones definitely make everything so much harder. So who's this? This is probably the person laughing, right? Has she been corrupted by somebody? Is it Dracula, do you think? Well, that sounded bad, didn't it? Oh. oh, fuck. Safe to assume that things aren't going to get less flammable. I hate it when things get more flammable. Not a good time. Puppet face, come on. I do love the way he's like, oh my fucking god! Every time he just flips the fuck out when the guy shows up, which is great. I hope there's a level where there's like 10 of them. Something dark lodges itself in my chest with methodical thud pounding through the walls. I can't decide if I'm being haunted. haunted. I'm just gonna get to the elevator. Thank God. I guess that's a fake elevator. Fucking clever ass fleet platform bullshit. Open the door! Flower among the flames. Surrounded by things that don't belong. There's a good listener on the way out. I am so fucked. Can't fucking move right now. How am I meant to deal with these fucks? I'm out of heels for the first time. Heal. 
Did I win? I won, but I have no heals left. Holy shit. Just run, just run. The elevator's right there. No! No! You fucking idiot, James! I hate you. I fucking hate you so much. What a dickhead. What an absolute moron dickhead idiot. Oh my god, just fucking leave me alone! It's time to get angry! Fuck off. I've got to get through this fucking room again of bullshit. Alright, she's dead. These fucking assholes. Okay. They're dead. I have more heals than last time. But I'm probably gonna fall. Fuck off. Alright. I would have been fine if I hadn't fallen off the fucking platform the previous time. Definitely my least favourite level, that one. It felt quite fiddly. But not unplayable. to see who the void is pulling from for these places. These moments. This would have been her home. Luckily, mentioned a mentor once. A man who turned her. Egyptian. He was murdered in a back alley in Victorian London by one of the first gentlemen's monster hunting societies. They did a lot of damage in those days. She never told me his name. Weird to think that I'll get to know her better now than I ever did when we shared our lives together. Hmm. Marathon. Well, I can hardly stand the anticipate. Is this a Rocky Horror Show reference? It might be. He's gonna say patient in the minute, then yeah. Patient. Yep, yeah, there you go. I was gonna say I could see the teleporting bitches. Didn't mean to hit all of you, but I did. I'll take it. Whew. Need more pills after that last level. It kicked my ass. There's not been any hostages for a while. Don't know if there will be any more either. Probably for the best, you know. After the incidents. How do I still have max stakes? Is every table in here just dropping stakes? I guess it is. No, there's hostages here. Hi. Doing good. Kicking some ass. Lots of ammo. Question is, where do I go from here? Oh god, there's one of those bitches. It's very hard to gauge where she is most of the time. Get fucked. Definitely need more fucking health as well. Like, holy shit. Felt like pills were coming out my ass until recently. Probably should see a doctor about, you know. If you feel like pills are coming out your ass, you probably should, should see a doctor. Just gonna head towards the uh, 
hostages. This level seems a bit more open than the previous ones. Oh, hi. Oh, she ragdolled there a lot. Hang on, I thought I saw more pills here. Oh, it's a steak. Couldn't hold more if I tried. I mean, you could try. You could like, don't want to say it out loud. It'd be very rude of me, but I didn't reload my gun. Excellent. Um, it'd be very rude of me to say what I thought you should have done with that steak, but you get the general gist. Go away. All right, at least getting some pills back, even if it's not the right amount of pills that I want. Can you, can can you, can you fuck off? Oh, this is bad. I guess our mentor is gonna fuck with us for now. Distortion, I know. The funhouse mirror, but the void is building new things. Hold on to themselves here, and I don't know why. I mean, that's just inconvenient. Alright, got a hostage over here as well on this side. I don't think Glace Castle was like this. No, well, that's a familiar part. Void is assembled, not the point of this place that isn't real. Did I resent Four, that? 8, 11, 26. 4, 8, 11, 26. 4, 8, 11, 26. What does that mean? I don't see any more hostages. Do you guys? 4, 8, 11, 26. I'm full up. Hmm. Where does that go? Maybe this will open up now, I've rescued everyone. No, but I don't see anywhere that I would type it in either. Hi. Oh, there's a hostage over here. 4, 8, 11, 26. I'm gonna try and remember that, but I'm probably gonna forget it. Fuck you. I hope that we know where that code goes. There's the elevator, just go for the elevator. If it asks me for a code, at least I know what to put in. 481126. Didn't. I wonder what that's for. Oh wow, shit. Peace of mind already. Right. Yeah, it is. Don't like it. Can't see me on my gun barrel. Ooh, I should not be handling a high powered rifle under these conditions. I really like these kind of rifles sometimes in games, they can be really fun. I guess a high-powered rifle is not good enough against the armor. I've no idea if it actually would be. I don't know much about armor and its ability to stop bullets. Oh, the top of the stairs just move. Uh, maybe. I wasn't really paying attention, I'm gonna be honest with you. Aha! 481126. I'm gonna forget that now, because I don't think it's probably important. Is this a different room? Oh, these are rifle rounds. These are massive. At least she died quickly. And that one.
Get wrecked. Get fucking wrecked. Just reload, take your time, it's fine. No rush. No rush while we're dying. I hate you things so much. Are these super knights? Oh, they are, look. They're booking it. Not quite sure what opened up there, but it'll be something. Maybe this over here? This over here, yeah. That was a top up. We got five heals still at the moment. And we got four at 11.26. Don't need more. Hi! What the fuck? Actual boss fight? That looks like a boss health bar. The arena keeps transforming. Revealing new pieces of itself like an intricate clockwork. There's a lot of shit going on here. Bullshit. The aiming on the shotgun at any height is just so fucked. This will be useful. Probably will be, yeah. Two lots of pills. I don't like the health bar at the bottom of the screen. It makes me somewhat concerned. Somewhat concerning. Can't carry it. Can put a switch on that central platform. Okay. You see me shoot things. I hope so. I set myself on fire. Heal. Really hope we don't have too many more knights because I'm running out of things to kill them with. Oh, great. Why did I speak? Why did I... Why do I exist? This is crazy, this level. What the fuck? So that black knight was the source of the laughter. The fused pharaoh. Well, I don't know what that stuff at the bottom of the screen is, but that looked like a boss health bar that didn't go away when he teleported out the room. Force beyond. 
You know, I'm like a patriots. And you want us dead? You shouldn't be out yet. I'm not out yet, but I will be. Soon. Your elevator proved a useful conduit in the meantime. Which one are you? This ain't not in my heart. Who shall ascend into heaven? Who shall descend into the deep? Could be the force of the girl. He has hit his fury to lay him down and make him an answer for what he's created. What's next? Kill me. Stop me from interrupting the ritual. Oh, I can't kill you. Yeah. I said this was a one-way trip. He likes to savor his I guess we're gonna be fighting the Black Knight sooner rather than later, huh? He's like a... it looks like a Nubist a bit, his design. But I think that's just the Egyptian sort of armor. Okay, floor causes damage, excellent. Oh, hi. Angels are real. And these ones want to kill me. Excellent. Fuck. Don't you hate it when angels want to kill you? At least they're biblically accurate angels, you know. Oh. We got the rap, we got the music coming. What the fuck is this music? Looks like I can jump on some bits of this for some periods of time. Don't know why I did wasted that then, that was bad. Well, at least I killed one of them, I guess. Got it, got it, got it. Every time they start singing, I, I complain, but then at the same time, I like it. I hate that I like it, and I like that I hate it. Might as well heal up. I wonder how much damage these things do. A lot. Like, a quarter of your health at least. Yeah, I do have a gun. Alright, we need the green heart. Green heart! Where are you? Be a nomkin. Oh, we got super versions of these now. And that was a fresh vampire. Gotcha. Yeah, you see, he explains why they're different color. It's really cool. They're a fresh vampire. So that's why they're red and they're more dangerous. Apparently. Smells of salt. Do you think he's got a gun? Is he saying got a gun or gonna cut? Whatever. Is that a chandelier or an angel? Jesus. Where did she go? She was like right there and then she just teleported off. Angel. And enemy like this. All at once. Oh, this is bad. Fucking die! Jesus.
Okay. They do a ton of damage, but they're squishing. Are you fucking kidding me? This gun's really good. Although it feels like you're firing nothing. We need a yellow heart. God, the damage they do is nuts. More Egyptian stuff. That vision of the manor wasn't the flu. Are we gonna go to like a fucking Egyptian temple or some shit eventually? Definitely feels that way. Oh, I'm really glad you said that, otherwise I would have spent hours. Imagine being the hostages who are in this deep. You're just fucked. Fixes now, though. Oh, it's not. Are uh, we going for a boss fight? Jesus Christ! No wonder you're fucking talking such shit. Dealing with him now? I'm in ancient Egypt at the bottom of the world, and I don't particularly care. Anything is better than being inside that box. Origin story. I hate when they get in melee range and you just like fucking have to waste a fucking thing. Oh, it doesn't look like it's a boss fight yet. These guys are still trapped down here. Are you fucking kidding me? I fucking hate these guys when they're at close range. Two hostages here? You can definitely hear too. Thank you. Thank you. Lights representing trapped souls. That's helpful. Okay. Makes sense. Who's gonna save you? Gonna keep going, I guess. I hope for the best. Think she's dead? Jesus. Use my repeater a bit. It's a, it's kind of the, it's the crappiest gun, but it does do the job, and it's pretty accurate at least.
Do their attacks kill their own people? Looks like they do, right? Fucking die! Jesus Christ! Fucking assholes. Enemies just spawned in. I could hear them. There's four lost souls here. Okay. Oh my god. I'm trying to fucking do fucking math here, okay? Four is such a big number that it's already overwhelming me. Thank you. God, there's another game that has audio like that. Oh my god. Where is he? Where's the fuck? I don't know where he is, but... He's gonna keep sending those things. Unless he's somewhere else. Reload, please. Get fucked, all of you. Hey, don't mind the giant sarcophagus. That's normal. Oh, wow, yeah. Lovely view. I have no idea where the puppet guy is, but he's going to bother me, isn't he? We're still missing a guy as well. Where? There. Yeah, I'm coming, I'm coming. There he is. I hate the fact that they stay up once he's dead. If you kill the puppet master, all the puppets should fall down. I'm fine, don't worry about me. The puppets have got my back. I want to try and take out the angels if I need to. That one was ragdolling hard. God, I can't see shit right now. Did they just go as it died? Probably. Fuck off. Where's the elevator? Here, 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 here. Just keep booking it. I think we're going to be all right. Just like that. Inside the box. Is the elevator just really getting to him now? I guess if he's been in it for days, it's like losing his fucking mind. You really don't want me poking around in here. No. Oh. You need to stay present. I don't want you to feel. I hate it. Thank you so much. So Bitter throne. The void isn't just pulling from creatures that exist, it's using conceptual language. 
Orcs and Maul's Arthurian legend. The rotting king mourning the dark queen. He only knows that the wind can tell him whatever story it wants. Please die. I think you're dead. I should probably like pick up a lot of the ammo here and the stakes because we don't have a lot. So you were the Lord of the Vampires. What does that mean? It means I fought for a position and I won it. Did you have a crown? <laughs> uh, it was a bit more just spiritual than that. Somehow I knew where my people were. All of them. All of the time. If one of them happened to see me, they knew exactly who I was. Without my having to say a word. I missed that. Being numb. Interesting. Dialogue stuff is really cool. Found ammo. Like, there's a surprisingly decent amount of lore in this. Like, more than I would expect from, like, a shooty-shooty game. That's one hostage saved. I'll go, I'll go. So each hostage is taking the form of, like, the Arthurian cross this time? Excellent. This one. Fuck off. Can you only hold one bullet of it at a time? No, I can hold a lot. I was gonna say, I'm sure I'd held more. Fucking die! Jesus Christ, there's always some prick fucking that doesn't take doesn't go down when he should do. I just realized you can tell which ones are kind of come alive because they've got like little eyeballs in their things and it's the first time I've ever noticed that. Got ammo. Bit of a problem with the, uh, the knights here. God, they're so excited. Do you, can you actually die from that fire? You're not behaving like you can die from that fire. Fuck you. Alright. I'm gonna be more, more the fuckers in the middle again. Hi. Didn't actually mean to kill you with a Molotov, but I'll take it. Okay. Five bullets there, not good. Gotcha. Surprise that panned out okay? Grab as much ammo as I can because I am running out a bit at the moment and for pretty much every useful gun. Fuck off. Alright, another long corridor full of bollocks. Gonna grab this and hope for the best. So that didn't count. Bullshit. Oh, no. 
was like, fucking die, holy shit. And you, fuck you. Alright, that should be all of them, right? Hopefully the end of the level. Oh, and the floor just opened up. Okay, okay. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> yeah, it's just fine, it's fine. No big deal. We haven't got all the people, I just realized. There's got to be at least more hostages somewhere. Needed this. Which is bad, by the way. That is a boss! It's fucking Frankenstein. He's blocking my shot skin. Okay, he's vulnerable. He is? Oh, I had to use the stake. That was a boss. Shit, I had no idea. Oh, it's him. He just says escape. We can't fight him right now. Bullshit! I didn't know he was gonna fucking do that! Oh god, I fucking hate things like that where you don't know something's gonna happen. I'm just gonna leave. Elevator's here. What a dickhead. What a fucking dickhead. At least the checkpoint was very lenient there. My bullets aren't doing anything. Oh, this is the problem. Eight. All I feel is hate. So what level, what, what's gonna happen now? Oh, I guess it left? Oh, this is not a good time, you puppeteering shit. Puppeteering shit is dead already. Alright, hostages. Quite a lot of them, potentially. Are you fucking kidding me? He has the eyes! The eyes are a lie! The eyes are a lie the whole fucking time. Please don't have fire everywhere again. I can't think I can handle it. Rubble walls again. He's blocking my shots again. Use a stake when he's blocking the shots, and you're all good. Yeah, that definitely is not the case. I thought the eyes lighting up was showed that they were bad, but I, I was wrong. Canopy jars everywhere. It's really inconvenient to have so many organs everywhere. How many parts does one extra dimensional boy need? They really stored you with the pottery, huh? I chased that puppeteer through half of Europe. He was... empty. Spreading chaos from town to village because... he had a creature inside him that couldn't do otherwise. Oh wow, we're getting some I lore on the puppeteer. But... apparently he's a goblin. Strong enough to pierce the void itself now. Fuck me. Oh, great. 
I'll be able to figure out how to make more of them. Oh, great. We've got more than one puppeteer at the same time. I'm tr desperately trying to find the way to the fucking thing, but I don't know where it is. It's like in the worst possible place. It's like in the middle here. Oh, maybe this is it. This looks promising. Good. Did it. A lot of pressure on me, but I did it. What next? What next? 1991. God, he's younger than me. What the fuck? I existed by her graces, and that was good because she loved me, and I was special, and I remembered my good day. I remembered when she started reveling in me being a little bit afraid of her all of the time. I remembered when she put me on that fucking couch and told me to stay, and I did. I pissed myself, and I waited. This sounds like some kinky shit. For four days, scared of what would happen if I got up and she found out. Proud of myself for showing that I could stay. What the fuck? Four days of waiting and blinking and feeling the inside of my mouth dry and crack like poured cement. Until she came back. Covered in blood. I didn't believe her when she told me she'd stopped feeding. I'd seen blood stains washing clothes. But there she was, standing in the doorway, finally telling me the truth about what she wanted to be. Her first words to me and the last words I've heard her say for two years were good boy. The same sick part of me that felt like it was tearing in half when I left her was glad. Glad I stayed. Like the good boy I am. Wow. Some kinky me. shit. I drove away as fast as I could, weeping in a car that didn't belong to me. Still remembering. As much as I want to hate her for what she did to me, without laying a finger on me, and what I did to myself, I can't. I can't. Because it was a really good fucking day. That her words were warm and her head was cold, and I don't know if I'm ever going to make someone feel like they are good. Like that. Ever again. Good. I'm ready to die. It's been nice knowing you. Savage. I can't say I share your opinion. Okay. Boss fight. He's again in the mouse. That's the game. I have to play along. Not really sure what I'm gonna be doing here. Did he just spawn? Look like he did, he did, okay. That's weird.
problem is, once he gets you, so you're really fucked. Could have been any other organ in there. So I guess I'm lucky. Guess run, just keep running away from him. I guess so. What's in here? These are canopic jars, right? This way. Everything's fine. Everything's probably fine. Do they need a stronger knight? The damage these guys did was nuts. Did you see that? Hi. Grab as much ammo as we can and keep going. He gets closed out initially when this shit goes down. Big fucking heart. I'm guessing once we have all his organs, it'll make him weak. Wow, he okay. does a lot of damage. Maybe I can turn this around. Okay, boss fight maybe? Yeah. Let's take him on. <laughs> Fucking hell, really brilliant. No, 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 I can't do this again, no. It's tough. No. No! Jenny! Jidei Frey, the son of Khufu, the Great Builder, right? I put the pieces together. Zimforth wanted out early, and he needed meat. Meat with a connection to Dokulai. A tether. What stronger tether than the man who made her who she is? Zimforth felt you in the ether, hitched a ride when you came back, poured you into a suit. That's why I haven't been able to hurt you. Because you've got a patron. She never said your name. We spent every moment together for three years. She told me everything, but the one thing that Janet didn't say is your name. Didn't breathe it. So you, you managed to complete a pyramid in your own lifetime. Conquered mortality, faked your own death to reign over the underworld, birthed the Lord of the Vampires, and it's all gone. Forgotten. I guess we're trying to piss him the off. The only reason I know who you are is because I was looking into the pharaohs of Egypt once, researching mummies, vampires, where that all started. And there was a big gap where your name is. Because of all the mysteries of Egypt, you were the one that no one has cared to solve. Oh, shit! Even to the person who loved you most, you're dead. Does that hurt? Killing me doesn't make you less of a puppet. What is a king who reigns over nothing? It's the end of the world, man. You don't have a name, you don't have authority. You don't have her. The one thing you can get right now, after a very, very long time, is a fight that matters. Wait, wait, you can't do this. No. Get fucked. A 
that makes things interesting. <laughs> this was so cool. Just like the burn men. Wear him down, then use a stake. Closure. We got to phase two, I guess. Let's bury you again, motherfucker. Nearly got him. I'm watching history limp in front of me. Flail before its violent death. It looks. Come on. Pathetic. These weird filters, holy shit. <laughs> Defeat. Good fucking riddance. It's a clipping through my ass every time I thrust. It's a constant problem. My God. James? Hey. What? What is this? This is Jennifer. The Force Beyond brought him back, poured him into a suit. I... I, I didn't think the door had it opened yet. I don't think it has. But, you know, these ancient forces of hatred and destruction... Always getting antsy. I have to go back. Um... I felt a ripple, so... Oh yeah, no, no, don't, don't worry about it. I'll be here. What the fuck was that conversation? Fuck. From scratch. I might have actually delayed things a bit. Boy took my weapons. I'm gonna get him back. I haven't got any guns? Great. I haven't got any stakes either. <laughs> Gotta be careful here. Handgun rounds, but no handgun. Great. That's on me, I got greedy. I did. It's something. You, you get it, right? Like, you know why I couldn't go to your funeral. Well, that's not supposed to make me feel better. I'm not gonna spend the day with people who don't like me and really didn't like you and hear them talk about how much they're gonna miss you now that they don't have to spend time with you and now that you aren't in the same room with them, now that they don't have to actually do it. They don't miss you. I'm gonna miss you. I miss you right now. I miss 
what you hear is really flat. No matter what I'm trying to do, how long she tried to do. You were special, Dad. You made me feel special. Like I wasn't a freak. That was a weird little exchange, wasn't it? Need a key. Oh great, we're in Egypt again. Ah, oh, guns. Do I have to get all my guns back on this one level, do you think? I mean, it's cool from scratch, so maybe. I can open that door in the hallway. Yeah, I know. I'm just trying to kill everything first. And pick up the shotgun, obviously. Jesus. I was actually really close to dying there, I didn't realize. Where the fuck is the door in the hallway? They're fucked. Okay, I need the purple key now. Okay, I'm getting everything back. It's getting spicy though. much fucking ammo as I possibly can get here. Otherwise it's gonna get spicier. God, can you fuck off? These fucking teleporting bitches, I hate them. Got Molotovs back. Heart I need. Something over here, though. Hi. Hmm. Is this going to take me over there, or...? Probably not, right? Come on. Looks like more bullets. I can pick those up. It's quite easy to miss bullets in this, because a lot of the time you feel like you pick them up, but you don't. You need to jump on them rather than just, like, go up to them. Alright. Should take me to a hostage. Weird. I guess I'm in a pyramid without a pharaoh now. That's not very fair. Oh. oh. <laughs> There's a special. And definitely not street people. What the fuck? Oh, I got a grenade launcher. I was, like, wondering what the fuck I just did. Okay, new gun. So it took all my guns away, but then gave me back all my guns and a new gun. It's very nice of them, actually. I'll accept that as a uh, as a as a plausible outcome. I don't know if we have someone to rescue or not. Someone shooting at me then? Always need ammo. Oh, I got the key? When did that when did that happen? Was that the first key I picked up and I just
think I'm okay. Bye. I'm just gonna leave. I think there was a secret of some description there, but we're gonna leave. Vespa. I wonder what level we're on. Like, the game has 48 levels, I believe. And I've no idea how many I'm on. Because it doesn't number them. Well, it does. It does number them on the menu, but it doesn't number them, like, in the game. Oh my god, fucking die. The way the knights move is pretty comical, I will say. This feels very slapstick. Like, really weird and over the top. I like this whole game, now I think about it. Flower panels down here. Take the rest. It feels like he's gonna completely bitch out when it comes to dealing with uh, Dracula. I'm still not really sure why she's doing this shit, by the way. Like, she's just embracing who she is. <laughs> I don't know, I have no idea. No, he's not. He's dead. Like, he got absolutely fucking wrecked. Just like those two did as well. Fuck you, Knight. I think it was going great until you were in our song. Like something you remember and don't all at the same time. Wow. You should write a blog about that, bro. Or a live journal post. What a contemporary reference that was. Holy shit. She saw me. Doug only saw me down here. And we don't know what that's going to change. All I know is that this place is different. It is? Alright, let's get this half stage. Can be the last one? Yep. But yeah, I, I do wonder like what's gonna like happen now. With le like her being aware of our presence, like she seemed pretty chill. I will say this is the wrong way. Where's the way out of here? I genuinely don't know. I am completely fucking lost right now. This is going around in circles. Get fucked. Oh, here. Excellent. Let's go. I walked past it numerous times. After you got cast down from heaven, I wonder if God still checks in on you. I hope we haven't got a level of just angels, that would suck. They do a ton of damage. Here it is. Same as ever. Get in the elevator. Get back out again. Well that was bad by me. Things still get a little spicy. Some levels have been way easier than others, though. There's, like, a much higher chance, it feels like now, for the knights to be knights. 
as opposed to just standing around knights. That one was real. God damn it. Not real. Fake. Whatever. Oh, wow. This is not good. Reload faster. Please. Please reload faster, you fucking dickhead. Biggest problem in this game is the reload speeds. They suck. Yeah, me too. Alright. I think we've got a grip on the situation a bit better now. Fucking hell. So many dickheads. Just a big sea, an ocean of dickheadedness. Too bad. Oh, this is really bad. Heal. Fuck off, all of you. And especially you. There's more than one, right? Isn't actually human or monstrous. It's fake blood. Jam. It's probably jam. Hang on, what the fuck is this place? It's like a butcher's yeah, thing. From somewhere else. From something. Else. Heal. Got to deal with the knight first this time, because the knight. Oh my god, the fucking prick of the fucking guy there won't fucking fuck off. Fuck you. Fuck. I should just stake the fucking knights half the time. Ragdoll was uh, was something. Can you fuck off? I'm not entirely sure where I'm going, by the way. Everything feels a bit like uh, maze-like in this level. Like I feel like I'm making progress still. Just going for the equipment. It's like the boy next to slaughterhouse. can't hit it from this range. There you go. She came over to say hi. That was pretty nice of her, actually. Heal. Q. Fuck you. Heal, Q. A fuck to you. I still wonder what that code was for all that fucking time ago. In trouble here. Don't have anything to deal with them. Don't even have any fucking Molotovs, are you fucking kidding me? That was lucky as fuck. That I got the kill on that. And it's no surprise that they aren't up to code. Oh my god, you understand the daily struggles that I go through as a health and safety inspector, James. You understand. James. Hi. You... You look pretty good. I'm bleeding a lot. No, I really don't. Yeah, I suppose I shouldn't lie. It's just obvious it doesn't particularly help, no. How did you get down here? 
I think I slipped in at the last minute. Took the elevator. Been here ever since. You could tell from the outside? Not really. Not unless you knew what to look for. So there's no one else? Probably not. Okay, I... I shouldn't leave it for too long. Hey, I get it. You're finally doing the big thing, right? Yes. Yes! Uh, it's... This is so awkward. It's very delicate, and... And... You are why I felt the ripple, aren't you? Probably. Hmm. All right, guys. Next level. I I checked. We have like <clears throat> fifteen levels to go. Did I hear something? So not many in the grand scheme of things. Blood everywhere. Equipment littering. Walk away. I don't know how this place ever operated. Dear God, man. Oh, this guy just crammed in a locker. Is that a condemned reference? Should be, even if it isn't. <clears throat> what the fuck is that? Yeah, this place is getting a bit gooey. More so than I would anticipate. I, I, I can't die. Not You're fine. Here. We were shoved you people together and wanted you to suffer. I'm sorry. Oh, I don't have a stake. I'm gonna need a few as well. Well, there is a few in the room, so. Okay, these are pretty easy to deal with. Grab the stakes and we'll keep. Oh no. What is this music? I shouldn't be really surprised by anything this game does at this point. It's such a surrealistic experience. Oh, fuck me. Sure, you come into the flesh room too. Fine. Heal. I was really close to death then. Many more left. Fuck. The lyrics of these songs are just such random stuff. And that's fine. It's just kind of funny. A scenic vacation at a cold one. Yeah, I was thinking that, but I, I don't want to say it out loud. It's a bit cringe. Why are you being so cringe, bro? I had to make sure that was an enemy. I was like, is it going to be a, someone to rescue? Oh, puppet guy. Oh, fuck. There's a lot of them. Where is puppet guy? I wonder if there's a super version of the puppet guy. I don't know if I've come across it yet. <sighs> the puppets can just fuck off. They just they keep going when their the puppet is dead, which is basically cheating. And they're like, oh yeah, I'm just gonna have a little walk. Forever after you. Be 
could be in trouble here. Definitely in trouble here. Fuck. Some of these, some of the rooms get hard as fuck. Where's Puppet here? Okay. Much better than I anticipated it going. Yeah, I, I know. I'm going to save you in a minute, hostage. I'm a little bit distracted by the giant hulking mass of flesh. Jesus. I know you'd be distracted, guys, as well. You pervs. No, I'm done. Let's just leave. Oh my god, there's so many of them behind me. Here's the elevator. I shower could wash my brain. Yeah, that's great, and I think get in the elevator. Alright. Back to the graveyard. Nice to see something familiar and horrifying for once. I love the dialogue. It's so good! <laughs> Need more fucking games like that, to be honest with you. More games with like like great dialogue like this. Just good writing. I've been playing a few games recently that have like some really, really good writing. And this this does a really good job of it. Where's the fucking There goes the void. Always breaking things. Yeah. Damn void. Not me. I don't break anything. Seems fair to me. I like the fact that handgun has still stayed relevant this entire time as well, I will say. He's given up insulting the Puppet Master at this point, I will say. But I like the fact that Puppet Master had its own lore as well. Like its own reason for being here and all this kind of shit. Like, Angel. I don't know if we'll get any more enemies at this point. Like, 15 levels? I don't know. Probably at least one or two more, maybe? Or at least... Um, obviously some bosses. We're going to fight some other bosses at some point, at some description. What the fuck just happened? Got teleported? Oh, I see. We could have gone either way. The gold stock is really useful for those one hit kills. It does an excellent job of it. We should really do this in this time. No. At some point, your people talking about black people. <laughs> <laughs> They were super fucking horny. Like, all the time. The horny posting on projector. Why is this still still locked? Oh no, we can go in here now. I didn't see this. God, I hate when they get in close range like that and you burn through stakes because it's the only thing you can really do given the situation. There we go. 
die. God, it's hard to gauge where I need to go because everywhere kind of looks the same in this level in particular. I think this is the right way. This could be the last hostage. But we obviously need to uh, survive first. Get fuck puppet boy. Alright. Time to book it. Fuck it up. Almost fucked it up, but I didn't. Got in there. Let's fucking go! You're going to tell me why you're here. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. You need to apologize to me. I followed him. It's my fault. I just... I didn't think I was that person anymore. <laughs> but he was... He was drunk. And he... He practically... Oh, no. It's a bit of a stretch, James. So it did happen time, again. You mentioned how upset you were with yourself, and I don't think you brought it up any times after that. We just both knew. How did this machine he hear us? While you've been pulling on the void, the void's been pulling back, creating artifacts and places from your memories, distorting them. I've learned a lot about you down here. Anything you wish you knew before? I've always wanted to know more about you, Janet. We'll discuss this further. Later. I'm counting on it. Is she having second thoughts? I don't know. She's definitely really confused to our presence here and what it means for the overall situation. Yeah, I think you're doing pretty well, to be honest with you, James. Like, genuinely, I'm surprised by how well you're doing. It closed behind me. Bring her around. Oh, this is gonna get a bit spicy. Okay. I'm not gonna hurt you. No, I like like have I hurt a single innocent hostage in this entire game? Yes, but that's beside the point. Could be the void, but they could also just be a series of fucked up rooms. Get off the fucking roof. But yeah, the lore reasons for stronger monsters, the dialogue, everything is just really, really Makes a ton of sense. These fucking knights, by the way. They are fucking with me, it feels like at this point. I wonder if we're gonna have a room with like 90 knights. 99 knights? That is a video game. Why am I using this? God damn it, I fucked that up. And again. 
It's not quite one away today, but I'll take it. Take out the angel. Reload the gun, first of all. No rush. Take out the angel. And kill him. Alright, not perfect, but we may have did it. We did it. There's a sound. That means that we did it. Let's grab as many of these as I can. I feel the levels are becoming... The levels have all been pretty linear, to be fair. Like, they're not, like, anywhere near elaborate as I thought they were initially when I played the demo. And that's, to be fair, it works. Like, it doesn't need to be more complicated than this. You're doing quick fire, blasting through. This time I murder roulette. Which one of you fuckers is gonna try to kill me? Alright, she's down. Reload, come on. Are you fucking kidding me? Fine. And you, fuck you. Did this open up? Maybe. I can't tell where I've been and where I haven't been. There's just a lot of nights. I am a hero. Thank you for noticing. Oh. Okay. Surprised that went as well as it did, but it went okay. Oh, that's the end of the level? What opened? What opened and where? This will do. Definitely will do. Excellent. Straight into confession. I think I've got this. Yeah? I think we're alright. Could only do with some more... Um... Wow. Oh, my neighbor is revving a fucking chainsaw. Super fucking loud. If it shuts up in the video, I apologize, but I can't take the time off to not record right now. Why did I take about five tries to realize that door was locked? Don't answer that question. You don't need to know. What's the point of this room? Beating your All right, Puppet That's Master fine. dead. Girl stuck. I keep mistaking the chandeliers for, for fucking angels. In my defense, they look quite... Biblically accurate angel and a chandelier have quite a lot in common. A surprisingly large amount, I would go as far as saying. Alright. Oh, this door was green? Oh, there's a projector. Let's have a little lesson. Mm. 
No. You never let me hear you sing. Well, that was really fucking sad. Her family was firmly embedded in the Victorian middle class. That's how we ended up in this manor. She okay. had sisters, brothers, a home, and we lost it all. Okay. It was day for it. Took the family down like a set of dominoes. Yeah, I did that back in the day. It's so fucking good just because it's an angel, by the way. Apologies for the background noise. You can hear the drills and shit going on. I'm hoping that my noise cancellation is good enough that you don't, but you never know. Because it's getting really bad. Oh my god. I think you might be alright. All right, let's keep going. Let's fucking keep going. Let's keep going. Let's keep going. Please die. Is this fucking angel? Fuck you. Chandelier eventually tried to fuck me again as well. Dad wasn't a man. Janet became the breadwinner. You know the story. <sighs> Jesus Christ. That run was awful. I love the way to transport your next of kin. Ragdoll can be very interesting here. Okay, one more hostage at the very that least. Explains the man. That explains the pain. That Likely a lot more. Meat locker. What does one have to do with the other? Yeah, I don't really understand the meat locker shit. Yeah. Did she just? Is she viewing the entire world as her own meat locker for food? Fuck you! Oh god, there's so many. Heal. Heal again. Oh my god, this room. Where is he? Fuck you. Did I win? Not yet. Fucking puppets. There's another one! Fuck you. Holy shit. Oh my god, I fucked that up so bad. Maybe it's me. Give me some steaks, I guess. Are they just teleporting on the spot now? She didn't really seem to be teleporting away. Excellent. Go. Book it, book it, book it, book it, book it. Oh. Well, that's handy. Why have you two 
to. What the fuck just happened? We're really gonna kill each other, aren't we? I think the line outside has been blue before. Oh! Rocket science. And there's the drop. Dockaway doesn't have to kill me if the void strands me in space first. Oh no, a space wrap. He has... I will say, like, because despite the repetitive nature of the levels in this game, which which it is, to a certain degree, everything still feels to, manages to feel fresh because of the quips and the character interactions and everything. It doesn't really ever feel like you're... I, I haven't felt burnt out by this at all. It's not like I've been like, oh god. That's just mean. That was pretty mean. Oh, I'm in trouble. Especially as I'm on fire. Don't you hate when that happens? Reload. Reload faster. They're not even standing on shit anymore, the brides. They just sort of, like, are in the air. Being dickheads. Oh, wow, there's a lot of enemies again. Looks like we're having to deal with waves, because it definitely seems to be lighting the floor up, killing them. Yeah, one more wave. These fucking things hitting you up the arse while you're trying to get avoid the flying things is huge. Do we win? We did. Only two heals left though. Yeah, that's right. We better fucking rebuild the bridge for me, dickface. How the fuck did I end up here, man? with the fucking meat. Let me just look around for health because we really need it. I don't see any meat, by the way. Fuck you. God, the music is great. Distracting sometimes, though, when you're. I'm just like, oh, this is great music. Gets absolutely fucking hammered. Why isn't that powered up? Okay, this is one half. Fuck. Nice ammo. I've got a feeling this is gonna be really bad. Yeah, that's a meaty cube. Meat bomb oh, well.
Okay. Not too bad here at the moment. I think I killed it with a shotgun. The shotgun usually is shit against those. It's just easy for a little bit. It burns the ammo really fast, but it is really good when it actually hits them. Fuck. Oh. I was worried there was a hole in the middle there for a second. Thank God. You're still going to have to go inside a meat oblong at some point. Your meat oblong is going to get bitten off or something. I hope it is an oblong shape, actually, though. Probably should see a doctor if it is. I'm not sure I know what you're getting at. Your blood sounds wrong. It's slow. Well, I've been taking a lot of pills. This isn't the first time. I was afraid of you finding me again, so I tried out Bruce to stay awake. We traveled during the day. I tried downers to get away from myself or edge, edge towards sleep. Sorry. I get carried away sometimes. Up and down, up and down. I've had a lot of practice at this point. Probably would have died if I didn't. If you stop me, you won't be able to leave this place. You're going to die. I think that's the only way it works. One way trip. You deserve better than that, James. I didn't believe that for a very long time. No. That isn't my fault. Yes. It is. God, these exchanges are so weird and simmering. <laughs> simmering with sexual tension, kind of. Of your pets on me. Does she have any control over what's going on with these, though, or are they just like the voids, like guardians or whatever? All right, we need a pink key. That's we know she isn't steering the ship. We need the door for it. But yeah, see, so yeah, so, like I just said. Worry about me. Can we return not to Hill Cop here? My informant was on edge. Someone had gotten to him first. Bills. My saving grace? The poor guy had no idea I knew. Hey, Tony. Well, hey, Gordon. No long time no see. I've always wanted to ask. Why do they call you two time? You do two time? They seem to nickname? Yeah. Oh, it's, be it's because I got two watches. I want to keep them safe, so so, so I wear them at the same time. I got, I got twice the time. Two times. See, I said two time Tony. That's me. Have you always been this stupid? Or did that start after the rollers got to you? Oh, Gordon. Don't Gordon me. You've got about three seconds before I make your time run out. Permanently. <laughs> oh, God. Probably gonna take the battery out. And then? You don't wanna know what I'll do next. So, you know that little stitch ripper? The ones with the blue handles? I'll go around the edges. Or go around the edges of the watches. Unstitching the leather. That leather? It's probably not real leather. I'll just crack the glass. I'm not even gonna care where the glass goes. I'm not gonna use a broom, I'm not gonna use a mop, I'm not gonna sweep up after myself. Then. Okay, okay, I'll talk. I'm gonna use a magnet. Just kinda make the hands wiggle around like they're all funny, like a little silly face. <laughs> make them wave at you, four hands, all waving in time. What Do the a little fuck? puppet show for you, using the face of a watch. Then, I'm gonna take out the little part that shows the hours and the minutes and it'll just be the gears <laughs> I'll shake out the gears shake out the gears right into a manhole drain then I'll do a little dance not for you but for me the manhole drain dance last thing I'll do pull out the pin pin like a grenade the little thing that you use to watch the, sorry, I've just I've just noticed that both the watches are digital and not analog so 
All my metaphors don't. Yeah, I'm gonna have to do a different process. Starting with taking out the battery. Starting from the top. So, like the little room. <laughs> the fuck was that? Shit! It was very funny, is what it was. But still. Some of the dialogue in this is just like genuinely some of the funniest shit I've heard in ages. I love it. All right, she's dead. I think that thing died through the wall. Not entirely sure, but we saved the innocent, so who cares? Twice there. Oh wow, this is gonna be bad. Heal. Okay, those two are dead. Fucking grenades saved my ass there quite a bit. Fuck. Reload faster. Not fast enough, but... Can you... Oh my god, you little shits. Where's the puppet here? Well, he was in here. <laughs> I'll take it. Oh my god, the fucking puppets are getting really obnoxious. Fuck you. I never really looked at their animations before, the hostages. The weird rando shit that they're doing. We have a problem. I don't have any keys. And all the doors are locked. Oh, this one is. I guess this one isn't. I thought the level had ended there for a minute because of the red tint, but no. Okay. That went pretty well. There's another one? Alright, who's fucking next? Huh? I like the way I'm shit talking while I almost died there for a second. Is that a good thing? I don't know if it's a good thing or not. Fucking hell. Is this the end? It is. There's lots of there's obviously secrets that I'm missing here as I'm rushing through these levels a bit, but still. There's something wrong with my plot. It's better not affect my ending. Dark is right about that. At least. It's crawling and lurching through my veins like a dancer off balance. My brain says I've been here two weeks, but my body is playing the same steady message. It says I'm dying. I don't think it's getting out of this alive. Fast. I may not even reach the bottom. If I die before then... I don't know what this was all for. And if I try to kill Dakule, when she still hasn't laid a finger on me... I won't be able to live with myself for the time I have left. I'll be a few minutes. You'll be fine. I wish the thing I am was stronger. Well. 
We must be coming into the final few levels of the game now. I think I figured out where that Nate Marvel stuff is coming from, by the way. Middle of the machine rates from the 30s. World War II America, rise of mass industrialization. Who represents that more than the food industry? I mean, I don't, I don't know. I'm not very familiar with America's uh, industrial history, I'm going to be perfectly honest with you. It's not high on the list of things that I learned in British high school that I dropped out of. Fuck you. It feels almost comical the way you kill these things sometimes. Like, you can just tap them and they'll be dead. Fucking hell, that ragdoll, what the fuck? Anything in the lockets? Just got a lot of hostages to find on this level, it looks like. There's lots of pictures of cats and adorable furry creatures on the walls, I've noticed, for a while. I guess that's meant to be because she likes animals or something. Because she was upset about the, uh... The dog dying earlier. At least I think that's possibly what it is. Either that, or they just wanted to put in cute pictures of animals, which is an acceptable outcome. A warehouse. Oh, my man of means thought himself a monster out there. Things went bad, and she lost a lot of power recovering. We're good. That one died standing up, which was weird. Got ammo. Oh, I didn't even see you there. Oh shit! Really? Already? That warehouse, though. Are we surviving? That's the Janet Drake story in a nutshell. Oh my god, open the fucking door! I'm gonna die here, because the fucking door wouldn't open. Why won't it open? Heal. Fuck you. Jesus Christ, that was bollocks. First time I've really got stuck on the elevator in the whole game. I was gonna say, we must be so close to a conclusion of some description. Apparently, uh, some of the secrets in this game are like crazy well hidden. I don't know if, you, if, if anyone's found them yet. I saw like discussions about some of the secrets on the game's forum and stuff on uh, on Steam. Fuck, that was nearly them dead. They're going full chainsaw again over at my neighbors, so I apologize in advance if that... Uh... Hi. Get fucked. You're not dead? My shots again. He wasn't blocking the shots. I fucking stabbed him. Motherfucker. Let's just head over here. This is place bears for black away. This I feel like this area is getting way worse to navigate. Like, these levels seem... This levels... Well, not every area, but this level seems really confusing. Can you fucking die, please? 
No pressure, but just fucking die. The game's checkpoints are really good, though. Nice. Like, really reasonable. Yeah, I'm just going around in circles, look. Well, here's someone, at least, I guess. Please die. All of you. Yeah, how do I get over here? Aha! Got a heart too. Excellent. Alright, so we have one more. Two more hostages? I can't really tell. Just running around with an empty gun there, I just realized for like a good minute. It's strange how much I style the helmet before it uses these shapes, how it chooses um, its materials. What the fuck just happened? The work of a painter and I can't tell its perspective. That was a crazy ragdoll there as well. I do quite like the ragdolls, they're kind of fun. Alright, hostage over here. Oh, I don't have a fucking stake for him. I don't have a stake to stake him. This could be a problem. This will be a problem. This will be a massive problem. Heal. Stand the fuck still, bitch. He's gone. At least I think he has. Can you fuck off. So many. Holy shit. Yeah, nothing is dropping stakes. God damn it. Can you fuck off as well, please? There's gotta be some stakes, right? There's gotta be. Okay, I got one. Feeling depressed? Like your life doesn't matter? Do you struggle with the feeling that no one would care if you were gone? Well, let me introduce you to Just Feel Better, a mental health app for the future. My uncle used Just Feel Better. He's dead now, but when he was alive, he told us it was really helping. Using groundbreaking AI power technology and the loudest innovations in emotional support, our dedicated counselors are available 22 7 to help you just feel 22. better. We're helping millions of users around the world already, but you don't have to take my word for it. Here's a testimonial from an actual Just Feel Better user. Ah! Another satisfied customer. Very good shit. Very, very fun. I like that a lot. Alright, where's the fucking big guy? I can finish him off now at least. Hi. Bye. Hey, use a stake. Well, that's him dealt with. That was weird. They were just standing around. This angel's eyes are full of blood. Oh, I guess that was like a super angel, and that's why it said the angel's eyes were full of blood. Yeah, I'm not climbing that. Just picking up ammo, dude. Chill. Alright, I have no idea where our last hostage is. Yes, I do, actually. They're over there. There was a locked door here, though. Oh, right, apparently I have the key. What she deserves her position all this. I can't. Well, that's the exit. Just gotta actually exit now. you think she's hot. It's a common occurrence, really. How do we get in here? Aha. There we go! So he cut the wire? He cut the wire. 
And now it's working again. I do not try to make sense of it. You still haven't tried to kill me. I didn't want to be rude. I thought you hated me. Why? For what you feel I did to you. Huh. The couch... The couch incident was an outlier. It, it isn't fair to judge me from that. Your last words to me were good boy, Dracula. Were you not? What I was going to say is that the couch was just one in a long line of things. It never touched me, but you constantly reminded me of your capacity for violence. Do you know what that does to a person? At one point you put your arm out to stop me in the hallway and you kept pushing your open palm into the wall. I saw it go through the drywall and the wood and then the brick slowly, relentlessly, until there was a fist-sized hole. And you just wiped your hand off and grinned at me like we had shared a secret. You would scream at me for slight mistakes and misunderstandings and even just a lack of deference. These sharp, intense fires that would leave you cold for days afterwards. I'd flinch when you call my name sometimes. And you'd have me do these arbitrary, demeaning things to prove my love to you. Wow, this relationship is toxic as fuck. One day, wash the dishes, wash them again three times, four times until my hands were stinging and red. So at the end of it, you could wrap your arms around me and thank me for loving you and taking care of you. Reminding you that living could be a good thing because I told you about the one good day that justified all the bad ones. I don't know if what you did was wrong, but I know it wasn't right. You said once I wasn't a monster. Do you still believe that's true? I don't feel bad when I kill monsters. Killing you would feel different. God, this is oh, fucking hell. Things are really coming to a head. Interview 38. The disappearance. Eyes the size of dinner plates. Can you even hear this? Another time is difficult. Are we starting with a rap? I do like the way the angels and the the banshee bride chicks, they take out anyone else that's around you if they do hit the floor, which can be quite useful occasionally. Why didn't I just tell her I don't want to do this? I wish we could both fucking stop. Yeah, pretty cringe, dude. And I wouldn't necessarily say what she's done is monster behavior, it's shitty human behavior. Sometime with the great fear that it's just us in the break room and the hand is seeing Oh fuck, I thought he was like Fuck you. I thought I had stakes left is what I was trying to say, then I just completely fumbled it. I haven't seen a force beyond since the elevator. I think we're alone down here. Just me and the duck away again. Maybe. It's kind of nice being trapped with a person. But I'm still guessing the Elder God thing from before is going to show up at some point and just be like, yo. Like, is she just doing this because she was proven to be a monster because she was mean? To you? I still don't really understand her motivation other than angst. It's the comfort of being suffocated. Knowing the breath pouring out of your lungs is flowing to another person's lips. And vice versa. Heal. That was close. A little clutch there. A little bit too clutch for me. <laughs> Gonna sneeze? Gonna sneeze? And I'm dead. Man, I'm good. 
Okay, don't big yourself up too much, dude. I'll do my best to save the rest. I was good at being trapped. I was fucking good at it. I, I was good at being trapped? Oh, well, I just killed the hostage and finished the level. That was intentional. I did it on purpose, alright? Fucking hell, my health! Holy shit, that was lucky! Well, that was a very short level. Is this the part where you stop me? No. I'm seeing you off. You are almost at the bottom. If you live long enough, we will see each other then. Confront each other then. What is this, Darkway? A goodbye. Well. She's very human for someone causing the end of the world. Prize possessions. Well, we're almost at the bottom, apparently. Don't know how many levels that is, but... Not all the game's levels are fights, by the way. Some of the game's ch chapters are just, like, the cutscenes and stuff. So it's, it's hard to gauge exactly how many levels there are sometimes. Oh. That's a cool action figure. I guess it's stuff that she likes. There's a lot of hostages here. So where I started, God, this place is confusing. But yeah, um, I think there's 48 episodes, but I don't think that's maybe maybe 45 levels. I've actually seen that drawer before. Duckley had it in her room, on a desk, tucked away. Well, yeah, like I said, it's probably a prize possessions. That's why the level's called prize possessions. You should probably pay attention to the level names, huh? <laughs> Hi. Go away. Nice. Your mom. We're getting closer to all the hostages. I was gonna say I'll take my pills and top them up now as well. Got more Egyptian shit. It would make sense for her to find some way to look over my shoulder. I'm the only obstacle left, right? Last piece of baggage. Wow, there's so many places to go. This place genuinely is a maze for once. Go away. Okay. More hostages this way. Probably a super knight there too, by the looks of things behind. You go away. Fuck off so rude. I don't want to say fuck off. Just being like, just like, you know, give me a break. Stay. I guess he isn't getting up. But there's another one over there. Look, there's another one over here. 
do I get to that one? It's gonna happen the wall would open or some shit, but I guess that's uh, not my luck. I don't have any luck, I'm gonna be honest with you. My luck is like, fucked. Got these small rooms where you can't really see. They definitely suck. Reload faster than you are. Okay, good. Innocent saved. Excellent. Alright, how many more? Like, not very many, actually. We're gonna go over this way. Well, there's one directly ahead. Was this even open before? Don't know. Don't care, actually, because the puppet guy's dead, and that's all that really matters. Thank you so much. Death to the puppet guy. We go. Angel is trying to shoot the fuck out of me right now. Think I'll be okay though? Definitely okay. Definitely okay. Easy. GG easy. That's a big fucking fire in the sky. We're getting really close. God, this is getting very claustrophobic and harder to handle. At least that doesn't kill the hostages, at least I don't think it does. Seems that only my bullets kill hostages. Which feels a bit unfair. Fuck you. Oh my god, Presser's buffing. Presser's a buffing numkin today. Reload. Fuck you. I'm not entirely sure where I'm going now. Please die. Thank you. We're not done though. Over that way? How do I get over there? It's actually looking promising this route. But getting out may not be as fun. die. I have no idea where I'm going a lot of the time here. This could be really bad. I don't think she's watching. Me. Go, 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 go! I'm gonna assume this is an open invite. So another normal level. OK. 
Okay. Time to start looking around, I guess. Let's go bar. A lot of locked doors here as well. Mannequins, not mannequins, the puppets, the papitos. Got that. This space feels cluttered, like the void is losing its mind. I mean, we're near the end, the first time so I guess that probably makes sense. Got the green heel, right? Green heel, green key. There's two forces here. We're meeting in the middle, and then it all ends. Get fucked. It all ends. Fucking night. Thinks he's gonna suck. So you fucking bitch. It's okay. Everything's fine. Supposed to do. This is the last hey thing I'm supposed to do. I know why you didn't pick up the phone. It's because you're fucking my slut husband in a cheap hotel. That's fine. I just want you to tell him like one thing for me. Um, his convertible, it's burning in the driveway as we speak. And like all the naughty pictures of you and him got like forwarded to his address book, so you know. I will be taking the kiss. God bless. Have a wonderful day. Guess let gatekeep go, boss. This will be useful. I'm really busy right now, Mr. Knight. This isn't the time for you to fuck around. Or find out. I've got a brother out there. We don't talk at all. I don't talk to anyone. Last person I talked to was her. He has a brother? I'm not sure that was worth it to get one stake for two. Kick some serious ass there. Did you see that? Dracula. My life and my death. The reason for the gun in my hands. Dracula. Oh fuck. How did the void make the puppets worse? I don't. I don't know how you can do oh that. Oh my god. Oh god. I don't think she's watching me. Fuck you, puppet. Hang on, what the fuck just attacked me? Oh, Angel? Yeah. Sorry, I mistook you for a chandelier. Oh, wow, this is the end of the level. We must be so close. Fight? Nope. Nothing lone about this. An unusually stunned country. Getting in the lockers. No. I should have looked more thoroughly early on. <coughs> I'm dying. <coughs> For the, um,. For the stories and stuff, like the projectors and whatnot, but, you know, it is what it is, I guess. There was a super angel there, I'm pretty sure, but I... 
Heal. How did I survive that? How am I alive? I mean, I killed like six in one hit. Reload your fucking gun, dickhead! God, the reloads take so fucking long in this game. It's actually nuts. Alright. Not entirely sure what I'm doing at this point. But we will just press on and hope for the best. Oh my god. Fuck. The speed they move at when they're upset. Oh, like they're crazy grumpy. Such grumpykins. I still don't really understand what I was, what I saw earlier on, by the way, with the the blue thing. He said that one's different. I thought it was going to be a boss, I'll but be I'll be probably not. I wouldn't try. Get the galloping shits. Wow, this area sucks. <laughs> fucking steak saved your fucking ass there. Killed the little hyena dude that was breathing down our fucking face. Oh, we're so close though. I can smell victory. I can smell it. I can't even pick up that stake. It's like built. It's like stuck in the floor. Last hostage, presumably. Whatever this is. Still not even a harsh word. I really hope we're on the same side. Yeah, I don't know what the fuck that is. Another 14 people, all gone. Abducted, murdered, we don't know. And the police still couldn't catch them? There was nothing to catch. But he said there were traces. Tons of them. Signs of struggle, blood, muscle tissue. It's just that every time the police tried to follow a lead, it would turn up a dead end. Wow. Yeah. It was a series of cauterized wounds, but for evidence. Are those, are those Dracula's victims, do you think? There's a puppet here. There's a fucking puppet here in here. He's dead, at least. The joke isn't in the best taste, but the show is good. This episode, that's one of the things that led me here. Oh. Yeah, it must be Dracula's victims, the easy tell on the podcast there, like a true crime podcast or something. I'd like the fact they segue to a sponsor like all true crime podcasts do. So What's up, guys? Right. Wait on. Today, we'd like to talk about this man skinning and eating 72 different women. But, first of all, here's a word from our sponsor, HelloFresh. Mm-mm-mm. Delicious HelloFresh, coming straight to you from the Serial Killer Podcast. Oh, hi. You're a boss. And there's enemies extra. Ex excellent, excellent. Hang on, is she healing it? She is. I guess she wasn't a friend. She lied to me. I need to use a stake. Yeah, I know. Fuck. Shall I have to? Okay, he's vulnerable. He's not just vulnerable. He's fucking dead. We done? I guess I did see you. Thanks. I want to go home. God. Go. I keep expecting her to come back and say one more thing. She was wearing a suit. It was a suit I'd seen before, a classic suit. Her hair was deaf with long fingers. 
She always looked good in a suit. You look at a piece of fabric sometimes and know exactly what it feels like between your finger and your thumb. Now she's cold when you're standing next to her if you're close enough, even through the clothes, and fuck me. I miss her. I miss my monster. There can't be many levels left. Get it together, James. One more time. Before the end of the world. Oh, I was gonna listen to that radio. No, we're just gonna rap instead. Excellent. It's Rick Gill. The fighting fucking radio. Just fucking die, that'd be great. We seem to deal with being on fire remarkably well. Like, we're pretty relaxed about the whole situation, really. I guess they're just all having a big party on the dance floor. It's murder on the dance floor. You better not feel the groove. I'll stop that bit now. That puppet master, he was determined to get away. But no, not from my... Amazing shotgun skills. Could have been anyone down here. It's me. I mean, sure, it be me. Believing in fate and its perfect little sacrifice. Because this is a love story. It kind of is, I guess. Pretty awkward one, though. I love the way it just goes through her sometimes at this, uh, with this, with this fucking gun. I don't know why, I, but the thing is, I'm often using the shotgun in close range, and then one of those will spawn. You're like, well, I guess better keep shooting anyway. So yeah, I think it's going fine. God, the angels absolutely wreck you. I think that was a hostage. It's a bit hard to gauge. Hi. Question is, do I care it was a hostage? No, that's the answer to that question. Don't give a fuck. Oh, I can't listen to this radio, what the fuck? Just loads of radios here in general. And a puppy, oh my god. I was say, you looked a bit like you were coming alive. Can you just fucking die? Thank you, Jesus. There's gotta be more here. More bollocks, I was there gonna say. Go, all those beautiful puppeteers, because my trauma's down here too. Oh, there's a lot of puppeteers. Actually, maybe not as many as I thought. This is bad. Like, dead bad. Yo. Did we win? We might have won. Heal again. Nope, we're not done yet. Oh, damn, that's all. The fucking elevator landed on my fucking head! Are you fucking shitting me?
There we go, all those beautiful puppeteers. Because my trauma's down here too. Found ammo. I'm so tilted by the fact the elevator landed on my fucking head. I could even see it in the room. Jesus Christ, that was so dumb. You never were! I don't think I'm safe. Anywhere. I just can't stay in there. They keep living in my head. There's another level? I feel like this is stretching out a bit at this point. Like, I feel like the conclusion should have happened like two or three levels ago. We're starting to get into levels for levels sake. And the pacing. God, a lot of games fuck up the pacing. And like, so far it's not like, I wouldn't say it's like the worst thing ever or anything like that. It's not like, I've experienced way worse pacing than this, obviously. But like... It's very easy to fuck up the pacing of your game by trying to put too much content in. Especially in this genre. It can be a real, real problem. I was gonna say, reload your fucking gun. But of course, you, in this game it takes a decade to reload your fucking gun. I'm gonna reload my gun though, there's no, no rush. Alright. Like, the levels are short and everything, but at this point it's feeling like... Why didn't the showdown happen a while ago? Because the cutscenes all seem to indicate they should, and then it just hasn't. Like, why at this point in the void are we dealing with... A, a, the same crap at this point, you know? Because we've seen this level, like, 20 times at this point. And they're just getting beefier and more obnoxious. But it happens a lot. I would say that most games I play feel like they have pacing issues to me. But I think that also is a symptom of, like I said, the fact that I'm trying to play through a game to get a video done. So I have a limited amount of time. No. I'm not sure if I nope. missed hostages there. I, I don't do think it. I did. I think about it. Well, they all seem to be over this side of that. Fine, everything's fine. I'm not quite sure what he was doing, he was sort of like just hugging the middle platform. Alright. Oh wow, another massive fucking room. Could be in trouble here because I can't didn't kill the fucking angel. Heal. Thank you. 
think we might be all right. We need a key for that. What the fuck? Go away! So many enemies. That wasn't the end of the level, right? No, is this door unlocked now? Or will it unlock now? Yes. gonna say. You're not gonna get away from me there, bitch. Okay. We're nearly there. <laughs> I don't know why I'm so fucking sneezing. Why is this game making me sneeze? Am I allergic to this fucking game? I keep fucking sneezing more than I have in fucking ages. In the middle of September. Not even September. October. This is boring. Hey, at least you died, puppet guy. I'm tired. I'm really, really tired, and I'll be honest, I thought my clock would have run out by now. I could collapse right here. My clock is almost running out as the player. How fucking tragic would that be? So I have to keep going. Living the story I tell myself. Believing in it. Just fucking reload, please. The reloads, like I know it's because I'm in, I'm like using my stake and it's interrupting it, but I wish I didn't do that. Please be the end. I think it is. Go. That was an angel, but that's fine. We got through the level again. Stamina's running low. You know, yeah, my three-month chip, my sponsor Pearl took me out for ice cream, like I was a kid. When we were in line, after ordering some frankly ill-advised flavor combinations, she held it out to me and she said, Hey, if you lose this, we always have more. Then she let go and informed me that I'd be paying for the ice cream. That day meant everything. I don't know if you've ever been on a wagon, but falling off... It feels like tumbling down a well. There's just water and walls. Worn completely smooth. It feels like you've lost the ability to be a different person again. So you go from three months between relapses to two days, one day. And Pearl said that was okay. As long as I kept coming back for that chip again. Because they always had more. That's sweet. I remember the old heads who showed me how to handle a gun at a range I shouldn't have been at, telling me about werewolves in Vietnam, lighting a fire in me to search for the unbelievable. I'm thinking I had a lot of good days. For as long as I have left, I'm glad I can see them. All right. Believing. Let's hope that big, beautiful ball means something good, huh? I hope so, too. I'm too tired to pretend I don't care. And 
waiting for the angels to make an appearance. Ninety-six pistol ammo. Guess I should be using it, huh? This feels conclusionary, which is good. I guess, like, sometimes they instantly die, the enemies, and I'm guessing it's because they hit their weak points, but I never really paid attention to what their weak points really were. I've just been shooting at them and hoping for the best. I mean, they're only small models. Souls. All right. That was bad by me. Like really bad. Heal up. And they're dead. Excellent. They do often, they do usually give you a ton of resources when you're in like a boss situation. So you don't have to worry about it too much. It's not that big a deal. Exchange. Mind you, every exchange in this game has been fucking weird. Just one more step. Heal up. I like the little lines of dialogue, just for like little little flavors that you might take, like little paths you might take. It is very clever. Like putting her head in there going, anyone home. Just such a nice little touch. Alright. So we must be reaching. Did I just do two for one? I'm gonna say. Gotta try and be organized. Oh, fuck. All right, you're dead. All right, amount of stakes. It's okay though. My health kind of glitched out there. Did you see that? I knew shat I was my health was on zero while I was healing. What the fuck? That was weird. Mate, we're gonna do it. It definitely feels like this is a uh, conclusion airy. Holy shit! I made it through a pyramid. Pyramid at the end of the world. Oh, I thought we were going to go into that. That would have been really cool. I want to climb the pyramid. Okay, bye. See you later. Hold on, Numkin. Oh, we, are. we still might, actually. 
Just let me. For as long as it takes, please, just let me finish strong. We look a lot less bloody at the moment. Doing this? I get one chance to be myself again. And there is a price opening the door to things that should stay in the dark. I don't get to pay it a second time. I know. I know what it's like to want to go back to a different version of yourself. To idealize this point before when you were innocent. That person and that time and that place are gone, Dracula. You are still here. You get to choose. I do, James. Please don't make me blow your head off. I'm not the devil. I'm just taking back what's mine. But ending the world at the same time, which is pretty selfish. Wouldn't you? All right, then. Guess this is it. She doesn't seem to have a health bar, which is a bit of a worry. Hmm. Not really sure what I should be doing here, gotta be honest with you. I'm not even sure if this is affecting her in any way, shape, or form. There's blood. Could be a good indication. I don't have a stake, though, which is another problem. I should probably save stake, seeing as she's a vampire, and staking her is probably, you know, a good way of dealing with the situation. She's definitely getting faster. So maybe I am pissing her off. I don't know. It's almost impossible to tell what's happening here. Give me more feedback, game. This is it. I'm outside of myself, watching the monster I love. Noting the lovely, ominous danger in her every move. I'm watching my body pump bullets into wrists I owe. Guess. It seems to be killing her, so it, we'll go with it. Something, anything. I wish there was anything left to say. Am I gonna have to just use the pistols? Looks like health might be respawning. I'm not really sure what's happening here. It's weird that she hasn't got a health bar and every other boss so far has had a health bar. I think that's the bit I find confusing. Health bar now. Excellent. Of course, you keep healing. Sage is 
to be the panty you've left to wrap in the cage. Reload better. Come on. What the fuck is with this music? Defeat Dracula. Okay. I wonder if you can talk her out of it, like, if you get a different route. Get the Scars Fade ending. Been good at it, you bastard. There's multiple endings, holy shit. <laughs> Real decent, you. <laughs> I really didn't think you'd save so many of them. I just... tried. It's nice to have it work for once. It's my soul's blood. It's how you turn someone. It's how I win. I don't want this. But you will want it. Because you don't... You don't want to die. And you still want to be special. You'll have enough time to turn cruel. And lonely. <laughs> <laughs> you fucking... Poor excuse for her sake. <laughs> I win. I'll see you in hell. When your own sins. You can't just say, I win. I win. I won. Me. And that's how she dies. Presenting a lack of body count. I want to throw it into the wall. I want to smash it into the floor and have my last sensation be the wet scratch of glass against flesh as I crush it into the ground. I want my vision to fade away as I reject her and everything she did to me. My lovely, tragic death. But she isn't the god. She was just a hurt person who did fucked up things. Until it became easier to define herself by the people she damaged than to change. She measured her impact in scars. It was terrifying to think of dying with all of these scars. My long living with them. Trying with them. Trying to be good. But I can. And I did. And I do. The sun's rising outside. Somewhere inside me, something responds to the approaching light. I'm ten minutes sober. And scars fade. Fuck it. <laughs> she knew we'd do it. Okay. That was El Paso Elsewhere. I guess that's like, I don't know what type of ending that is. I don't even know what to call that. It's not bad, but it's not good either. I wonder if there's one where they both survive. There's lots of secrets you can find in levels it looks like to change the ending and stuff like that. But overall, I enjoyed this. It dragged a little at the end, but overall, I thought this was a fun experience and definitely a really good tribute to the Max Payne style thing, but with a supernatural twist. Overall, I thought this was pretty good. I'm going to give this a 7 out of 10 just because it's a little repetitive, but the overall product is a good one. If you like this kind of thing, like third-person shooters and stuff, you're probably going to really enjoy this. Uh, very fun dialogue, and obviously there's different endings you can check out. Thank you for watching, guys. I really hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, leave a like. Let me know what you thought in the comment section below. Consider signing up to our Patreon, and I will see you guys really soon for more Super Nom content. Goodbye.